I forgot the number from last week. I hit it at 50 seconds. It was already loaded in. It was 40. Damn it. <laughs> hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, hopefully you're all doing good. It's time for game clearing. We're gonna continue Luigi's Mansion 3, see how far we get tonight. We aren't going to beat it tonight, I assume. I think we still have too much game left. Uh, but we're gonna do our damn to see how far we get. So let's get back to it. Yeah, I saw folders finally got added to the Switch. It's only, you know, been out for five years. <laughs> nice, nice on time. Nice and early. Uh, well, at least it's there. That's the important thing is it's finally there. Okay, what was the last thing we did? I guess we chilled in front of Egad's garage. Uh, we've got nine of the buttons. We've got to get another eight. All right, so we're basically, at least at that point, the halfway point of the game. So, yeah. We'll definitely be finishing this likely next week. But let's push down and see what happens. I also found out that you can put the same game into multiple folders. Might be useful if a game fits multiple categories. Ooh, that's nice to know.
As someone from Ohio, why does everyone diss Ohio? I heard the diss from the first stream of Luigi's Mansion 3. <clears throat> uh, I don't know. I'm Canadian. We'll be doing a 20 floor scare scraper after the main game is done. Uh, that'll depend on how much time we have left. <clears throat> Sorry, I just ate. And I just woke up to I was passed out on the couch, so. A little, little sleepy. I'm gonna get Luigi to run some laps for me to wake me up. Okay, so, so far. <clears throat> so far, we have all the gems on all the stages that we can get to, except for the one that we can't get currently on the fourth floor. Um, but everything else is set. So we're now we're going to start Paranormal Productions, the eighth floor. And the only boo we're missing, I believe, is also the fourth floor, because we said we were going to come back and get him later. Fourth floor, fifth, sixth, seventh. Yep, okay, so that's where we're at. Yeah, let's get to it. <clears throat> well done. You must have that narrow throat thing my parents say I have as I often cough after eating too. Yeah, I've always had the issue if I eat fast, uh, my, I have to clear my throat constantly. I don't know what it is. I only developed it when I was living up here. It never happened back in Newfoundland. It's really weird. And sometimes I don't even have one of them in the States. It's so odd. Oh, sorry. What am I thinking? <clears throat> what did I eat? Um, Chicken burger with, uh, or sorry, chicken sandwich rather, with uh, lettuce, bacon, avocado, mayonnaise, uh, and then steak fries with uh, ketchup. Allergies making your throat pinch? No, because I've had it with completely different things. As far as I'm aware of, I do not have any allergies. Other than bad reactions to eating too much chocolate and shit like that. Whoa. Well, I guess, <laughs> I guess, and being uh, lactose intolerant. I guess that's technically an allergy. You know what? Hang on a second. I'm just going to mute myself so I can actually finish coughing. Check, 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 there we go. Ooh. Being lactose intolerant is not allergic, it's being cursed. Oh yeah, much better. All right, let's see what we got around here. Wow. How do I, how do I get to that? Guis, you can't get up there, right? No, you can't either. Weird, okay. Oh no, it jumped! Here, get back in. Oh. Don't lose the money. Don't lose the money, Luigi. We need it. For reasons. <clears throat> Alright, so I guess the gems this time around are gonna be just uh, film reels. Let's see how big the map is. That's not terrible. Actually, wait, hang on. Hang on. Only one level, okay. Well, at least at the start. But we know there's a key here we need that we can't seem to currently reach. Ah, 
Hang on, let's get that. Spray some money everywhere. Oh, spray a lot of money everywhere. Oh my god. <clears throat> We've got Luigi's Mario Strikers art. Oh, that might actually be Mario. Oh, that's an M. That's Mario's. What else we got here? We got Luigi's Mansion. I think that's Dark Moon's art. We've got... It looks like Strikers again. No, well, based on that, it looks like Strikers charged. We've got good old Little Mac and Punch out. And then what is this one? Cause that's not, um, what's it even called? Federation Force, is it? Is that actually supposed to be Federation Force? All right, let's see what's in the punch out one since it's the only one with a hinge. A boxing glove! Mac, were your hands always that big? My god, why'd they call you little? Oh, I guess I can't punch that then. I figured there would have been a lock on spot at this point. What if I punch the TV though? Can't even punch the damn TV. <laughs> I can punch the speakers though. Who needs them? Anything else I can punch? What if I punched myself? Or, I guess, my brother. Never mind, I keep forgetting this is Mario. Boom. What if I punch the ghost? Oh, I can't actually punch myself. I'm right there. Never mind. Perfect. Will this be the day I remember I have the plunger ability? Let's find out together, shall we? Uh oh. Boxing gloves gone. Oh, get it, Luigi. Get all that money. Get them Smash Brothers imitations. Get yourself in that game. Get that popcorn. Get yourself a tasty snack and beverage. Get yourself an Oscar. Or a... Ghost... Skr... Ghost Scare. That's probably the exact joke they went for, isn't it? A ghoulie? I mean, a ghoulie also works, too. <clears throat> I do it. I guess that opened up the key. did I do wrong? Why is that still freaking out over there? 
Well, because there's money. I guess that's why. Luigi, can I just leave you here and go figure that out myself? Looks like I can. No, that definitely stayed. So what blocked it? Oh, this this is helpful. Oh yeah, this is helpful here. Look at this. Look at this. This is this is peak. That's peak gameplay right there. All right, let's try that again. What did that even reveal? Following the cord, it got to at least here. It went to the camera. Did it just not do anything? Weird. All right, well, let's just assume that I don't need to worry about that just yet. No, I do need that key, okay. What did it do that I didn't see? Wow. The TV's on and recording something. Oh my god, can you can you stop? Please, my god, stop with the shaking ropes. What happened that was different? Helicopter, what the fuck? Did I miss a break somewhere? This. Like, the line's clearly going to the camera. The camera's recording. But the light's not doing anything. The TV's not showing me anything I don't know about. Or is this like. Oh, it's like Luigi's Mansion 2! Uh, or was that the multiplayer of 3? Got TVs were teleporters in this series. Ha. Oh yeah! Aha! Yeah. Well, that's what happens when you just wake up and you haven't played in a week. He couldn't climb up that ledge. Yeah, I know. It's annoying. It's really dumb. But you know, you gotta know. It was mirrors in the first game, I remember that much. But yeah, TVs, it was TVs in the second one because that's how the game starts, is you getting uh, sucked into your TV. Oh, the director's sad, so I'm leaving. Grab everything here while we can. Got another ghoulie. Or a scare. Another one. 
And this director got a lot of awards. Nobody doesn't mind I'm destroying them all. He probably does. Coffee pot. All right. What does this do? Surprise! And kaboom. Oh, yeah. There was gold in that thar film. Grab some negatives. Hope these weren't important films for history's sake. I don't know what that broke on, but I'll take it. I guess the that wall. Uh, is that everything in here? Whoop! No, it's not. <coughs> oh, I guess I get rewound the film in full. Okay. Mr. Director, I ruined your film. So just tried that on a whim. More pearls. Give me them orbs. The tragedy, oh, <laughs> is this my end? Is this what I'm Morty, director of the fantasy films I'm destined for? How could I lose it? I am a puny, worthless movie director, that's all. Even the sparkle from this beautiful button is now nothing but a dull hue. Oh, oh hey, well, can I, can I take the button? If you don't need it, I'll take the button. I almost got it. Ah, oh, my bright red megaphone, where art thou? I can't yell at people without it. I would give anything to be able to hold my dear sweet megaphone again. Okay, I go on a fetch quest. I get it. I'm stealing all your stuff first. Why not set? Yeah. No. Song. Ooh. Ooh, craft services. Okay. You know that. Good thing he does not notice I'm doing this or care. That megaphone really must mean a lot to him. Hey, you don't need, you don't, I'm just gonna, just gonna clean up a couple things here. You don't need any of that. Uh, hello. Hello. Yeah. I'm gonna clean up. Financially. And I guess help in ailing production. I guess I can do that too. How have none of those gotten him? I know you're there. There we go. Very picky. Very picky perspective. Clean up or clean out? I mean, that's the Hollywood stand.
This game looks really good for Switch standards. I mean, there's a lot of good looking Switch games out there. It's just, it's all based on just what, oh God. Uh, art direction, the team goes for. As long as the devs are comfortable with the with the Switch hardware and know what to do, they can make it sing. Oh, giant packing peanuts. Giant coins. It's better turn into smaller coins. Good. I'd be mad otherwise. Is this the set of the new Mario movie? Eh, probably. <laughs> Luigi, look! That must be the megaphone! Looks like it's trapped in some spider webs. This must be Hardy webs. Oh, and there's a gem as well, too. But I'll worry about that after I clean up the place. More packing peanuts! You might be able to break it, free that megaphone if you burn away the spider webs. Okay, cool. Well, I wasn't worried about that, but thanks. Whoa. I'm just trying to clean up. Get, get out of here. I'm trying to clean up all this giant money here. Get out of here. No, stop it. Giant money. Ah. I've only got thirty-six thousand dollars. I need more. Assume this is not actually the solution. See, I also can't just grab this and flip it. I doubt Guiji can go in there. Never mind, he can. Camera's rolling. All right, well, this is very obviously we're about to fight a giant spider, so. Let's see. Oh, am I gonna need both? Uh, the same spot. That's how it works. Oh boy. Yeah, let's 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 try that again. Why are you drifting to the left? Why are you stop? Stop? Why? Why? Why, why is this happening? Luigi, are you having are you having some issues here, my dude? Why are you walking to the left? I'm very clearly holding to the right. If I hold back, he walks to the left. He, he really wants to do this. And I, I can't do the solo, right? It actually has to be a double slam. All right, Guiji, you try then if you're so, if you're so smart. Okay, yucky. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, all right, sure. Why not? I just assume maybe I can't open this yet until I get fire. Cause, yeah, that just keeps happening. All right, let's come back later then. Well, actually, hang on. You can open it now. All right. So what am I doing wrong? Let's see here. Let's watch this again. Ah! Wait. Want to be the cameraman? Then who's going to be the actor? Wait, what? <laughs> what? Hello. Oh, what? Okay, didn't think it would work differently like that. Considering this was just, a, you know, the blue screen effect put in, I didn't think it would actually work that differently, but I mean... We'll work with what the game gives us. Oh no, a spider! Who could have seen that coming? Alright, well, goodbye. Who could have possibly seen the spider showing up? Oh my god. He left a mess in here. We've got to clean it up. <laughs> They're eating her. And then they're gonna eat me! Oh my god! I love this dramatic music as I'm just stealing money instead. Oh no. Oh no, the spider's guarding these two coins. Okay, maybe it's only guarding one coin. Give me, the, give me the last one. There we go. All right, now we've got it all cleaned up. Here, would you like? Would you like to drink? No. Okay. Well, bye. Oh, it actually does have to be all done in the movie, huh? Okay. So here's the question now. I need fire, right? They said I specifically need fire for this. I 
didn't see anything that would. Well, I guess I sort of did see something that could start fire, but I somehow doubt this is the solution. Yeah, no, it's not moving. Do you want to hit or no? No, I do not. As I have said, I want to figure out shit on my own. So I guess a warning to those who have not been here for any of these, I'm trying to figure out shit on my own at first. Okay, well, can I move? No, can't move the hammer. Yo, Josh, how you doing, my dude? Okay, what do I have here that I can work with then? Because this guy doesn't move. All I've got that I can work with here is the lid, and I don't think there's anything I can do with that. I assume not, anyways. Because I can't shoot it. Oh, wait. Okay, not quite the solution, but I guess more money. So, spider can't move, so it's basically just there. And I can't move the bottle to try to, like, focus any light. So how the fuck am I going to make fire happen? Luigi, is there something you can do here, maybe? But, uh, what? All right, well, I mean, Luigi, you want to go help? Okay, I'm on it. I'm helping. do it. Oh god, it's a spider again. Who could have seen that coming? Well, when in doubt, I'm probably forgetting something with the black light again. No, I'm not. But I got a bunch of money for some reason, so neat. thinking of. I already tried to use the plunger on everything I can grab. They specifically said use fire. Like, I'm not misthinking this, right? Like, he said use fire. Fake spoiler trick the mods. No, guys, we have a rule for those who don't know. If you post a fake spoiler, you get timed out. Because we have a, if there's no spoilers in effect, even fake ones. So, uh, yeah, no tricking by the mods. That's just someone not reading the rules. 
or paying attention. So if you're seeing people getting timed out, uh, it's because they don't understand zero tolerance literally means zero tolerance. Joke equals timed out. Yeah, because what if someone actually takes that, that uh, comment as legit? You don't know. Jesus, how many... Okay, that's a lot of time. What the fuck is going on here? Anyways. Uh, Alright, let's get focused back on this. So what the hell am I missing here for fire? I can't interact with him. It doesn't seem like... Here, I'll ask this question then, chat. Is everything I need to use to solve this here on this screen, or do I need to do something out in the set? No, 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 no. Okay, so I do need to do something in the set. Alright. Okay, so I do have to go to the other sets. I thought, wait, I thought you guys said I could do this now. So wait. So I can't do this now, but people said I could do this now. You said you could open the box. Guys! Guys! Ugh. That's the only reason I stayed in this room, is because I thought you guys said I could get it now, not open the box. I did ask open the box, so I guess that's on me. But that's why I've been in this room the entire time. I would have gone to another room by now if I had realized we were doing that distinction. Okay, I will be more specific from here on out. Good to know. To be fair, we weren't allowed to tell you. Uh, you know what? Yeah. Again, I'll I'll accept that one. All right. But yeah, no, I took that as I can get the megaphone now. That's why I stayed there. So sorry. I think we had a, a confusion on everyone's behalf there, by the looks. Okay, well, I will be more specific. I'll take that as, as my fault on that one. Why are we in Sesame Street? We're not sure what to say because of spoilers. Uh, honestly? I would have accepted this, not as spoilers, the, st the statement, yes, you can open the box, but no, you cannot get the thing now. That I would have not accepted as a, sp I would have said that's not a spoiler. Because that would have been the, that was the actual answer I was expecting to hear was something like that. You can open the box if you can't get the thing now. Thank you, Count Viscount. I appreciate it. Uh, this is what happens when we have to draw fine lines about spoilers because some people can't help themselves. Oh, well. Mr. Pennywise, can I can I get some more money, please? Maybe a gem. Ah, there you are. Uh huh. 
Alright, that's three of them down. <laughs> Sorry, Luigi, money doesn't float down here. Fair enough. Hello. Hello! Oh, he actually said it. M -m 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 Mario. Oh no, there's a staircase. Huh, funny. I would have expected being able to actually get out on the other side or behind it. Nope. Okay. Don't be rude, Bert and Ernie, trying to sleep. Nice free pearl. Quick spin. Uh, oh, there we go. All right, Gooey, can you go back there? Okay, now, can you get completely behind the scenes? It looks like you can. Or maybe not fully. Alright, I guess based on the radar, there's actually no way to get, there's no like behind the scene room there, so let's just see what we actually need to do with this one. Alright, Guiji, you're the one filming this time. Uh, or are you? Does it actually have to be Guiji that's out there? Huh. Uh, now I get why. <laughs> now I completely get why. All right, Guiji, oh. have fun with fire. When? When do I get the move? <laughs> when do I get the move? Thank you. Oh, right, it's considered water. That would be why. That would be why they forced it to be Guiji. Hmm. There we go. I knew some who had to remove it. Let it burn, Goigi, let it burn. Sesame Street's gotta learn a lesson. Or, never mind. Or we'll melt. Damn 
<laughs> I kind of like him, though. That's kind of great. Fire makes me mad! I did it! I let a city burn! Well, now here's the question. What what did this give us other than access to fire? Which we have nothing to currently hold with. Or is it panic because they want me to take the... We go up here. I don't think that's what they wanted me to do. Fire is its own reward? <laughs> Alright, Guiji can't use ladders, right. Hello. There's fire on this set. Do you think you could use the fire to burn the spider webs? Because I do. In fact, I'm sure of it. Now all you need is something to carry the flame with you to another room. Well, we've got the teleporter. We just need something to actually put the fire on like a torch. Okay, so let's go to the next set. Wow. And I assume because we have the teleporters for all of them, I assume we have to jump in and out between the TVs with items in each room. This seems like the most logical way that they would do this. Big ape. <laughs> Big bucket. <laughs> Don't mind me, just spinning. Ginger Lord, thank you for the the tiny car, and thank you for the gift sub, Bob. Well, friends, I look forward to meeting you people again. Don't mind me, just breaking more shit. Stay there for now, Bucket. We'll find a use for you later. All right, castle invasion. There's the torch we're gonna need. So we at least know that we got that. Oh boy. Nope. I'm 
impressed these pre-lit bombs aren't going off inside the wooden barrel. God, the physics are really wonky in this game at times, huh? Oh, no, 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 get the pearl, get the pearl, don't lose the pearl. Okay, Goose, can you go in there? Nope. I guess we go to the movie then. Let's see what the camera holds for us. Well, actually, hang on. No, nope, never mind. Oh, never mind. It does stick. So we can go in. But uh, we already grabbed all the money, so this was less than helpful. <laughs> Quick spin. Doesn't look like it. Clean up the actual s outside of the set. Action! Look at these boxes missing. Hey, get that shit out of here. I'm trying to run a professional movie set here. There's no more ghosts on this floor, I'm sure. Nothing at all. There were many things left on this floor to scare Luigi. Including this barrel full of bombs. Actually, surprised it wasn't. Okay, Luigi. Getting, getting on the set. Oh God. Let us spin. Spin. Right, Guichi can't even use a ladder anyways. So, we need water to grow this plant so we can get up there, which means that's what's gonna be on set one. Game two, 
Oh. Yeah, Luigi, there's a torch like that, and you can use it to carry fire around. You can wait to climb up that tower so you can get the torch. I was wondering how they're gonna find a reason for me to go into the first one. No going out of order for us. We actually have to do one, two, three, four. There's a rubber ducky, so very clearly, this is connected to the Sesame Street set on number three. There's the water. There's an achievement you can permanently miss on this floor. Okay, what is that? Hello, rubber ducky. Oh, you're fine. Luigi, there's a well! <laughs> if you had a bucket, you could carry water around with you. Maybe water that budding plant. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, we... Thanks for putting the rest of the pieces together there, because we, we had them. All right. Bucket was on... Three? Or was it two? What are you um jawing me jawing me about? You just ran past a bucket? Hey, why did they make a big deal of the bucket that was in the other set? I thought we needed this. Oh, this, no, it's in the main room. Oh, now I get why you're saying that. Never mind, I thought it was one of the four rooms. That's why I went there. I had tunnel vision. All right, so I assume we need to use these to actually get in with the props. Ooh. Yeah, guys, I ran past the bucket because I was thinking they were in the room. That's why. So I wasn't focused on anything else but getting to said room. Okay, I just assume we have to just... No, it can't be this. <laughs> now we've made an even bigger mess! Excellent. The achievement is not missable. I got it after beating the game. Oh, that's not what I thought that was going to do. Yeah, you 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 can go down there too. Oh, maybe not. 
You, you're, in the, you're in the back of the shop. Okay, Gooigi, go earn us some water for the bucket. Oh, the slow zoom. What's in the well? Could it be a ghost? A friendly ghost, thank you. Appreciate it, bye. Floor two. I'm oh, sorry, room two. Luigi, grab the bucket. Get on set. I do it. There is a missable thing you can screw yourself out of here, though. Okay. Hey, I'm busy. Hey, I said I was busy. I got Jack. I said I was busy! <laughs> Knock it off! And I don't mean the wall! Bust and make you feel good, you better believe it. Bust and bust and bust and make me feel good, feel good. All right, let's just go get the torch before something else happens. All right, torch accomplished. Injury accomplished. Show Morty the torch. He has flavor text. Fire within my soul has been extinguished, much like that torch. Okay, bye. I ain't afraid of no sleep. I ain't afraid of no bed. Hey, Luigi, you wanna you gotta drop that, buddy. Okay. I do it. Hello. Hello. Still, I still do it. Okay. Got a deadly weapon. Let's go. Is there anything for the lit one? An invisible bed. <laughs> Freaky ghost bed. Oh, oh, that burning flame, it rolls like the passion of a true artiste. Let that fiery passion burn a path for you. Only then will the muse be sated. Okay, I'll go light shit on fire. Yeah, 
He also has flavor tech for the bucket. I figured as much. All right, Goose. Hello. I do it. I do it. Burn the cardboard to pieces. Oh god, where did it go? Oh, it's fine, somehow. Fuck you, spider! Rectophobia! Let's, uh, let's, let's burn the, this. Went through a lot of trouble for this. Okie dokie. Thank you. All right, now let's go fight a boss, because of course there's no way we did all this without a boss fight. Until now, but your face, you have some nice features. And your builds, not bad, not bad at all. All the makings of a star! Ah, my creativity is shaking off all the dust and surging to life. Come, come, let's start shooting. Where's my crew? Faces, everyone, take your places. It's time for Luigi destroys Manhattan. Okay, well I gotta go get that flame back. I gotta go start a fire. I'm gonna take this mop with me. Or a broom, I guess. I gotta I gotta do some dusting. Okay. Here is the missable achievement. Let Morty complete his movie. Action. Cole, don't get mad at him for that. I told him to tell me if anything was missable. They're just doing what I asked them to do. No. <laughs> All right, so how do I complete the movie? Do I not let Godzilla destroy, kill me? Do I kill Godzilla? I am actually asking this question. Do I let everything get destroyed? If you catch him now, the movie never gets finished, but if you, uh, it will if you come back, what? You fight the boss as normal, just don't suck up Morty when it's done. Uh. It's what happens after the fight that matters. Gotcha. All right, let's fight them. Because it's green, aren't I? 
Yep. Oh, damn it. I know, but every time I switch over to Luigi, or to Luigi, he stops doing the move, so. Where did that heart go? Where the fuck did that heart go? There it is. Um, I think I think Luigi's not pointing the right direction quite. There we go. There we go. Oh, I pooped out a heart. Oh, nice. Shit, I'm stuck. Sorry. Sorry, I still gotta kill your actor, though. Precious movie. Gone to the editing suite. Huh? I'm a star. <laughs> I'm a nine. Okay, so I assume now. I have to just leave and come back, and he's got the movie done. So yeah, now leave him alone for a bit and let him finish editing if you don't want to miss anything. So I can't even go in the room? Can I go in the room to see what he's doing, or will that end it? You can talk to him if you want. My film is almost complete. Almost. Do not disturb me now. The editing process requires my absolute attention. Okay. Yeah, have fun. Hello. Okay, bye. All right, well, I'll worry about the gems later then. In that case. Now, if I go to the next floor and come back, will that immediately, will that count? Or do I actually have to go do a, is it like an actual set amount of time? The movie is completed by a story beat, not by time or anything. Takes a few floors still. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Uh, it's 
never that simple. Oh, well, money. Up the set. Now I've got a broom. All right, I'm dead. He's got a cowboy hat and a golf club. And this is what he was actually holding. Where'd you go? This is a present from me. Look at your uh, uh, Oh! Okay! Well, friend, I look forward to meeting you people again. Cat's afraid of heights, despite being a cat. Okay, that was not the solution. Well, to get the approach is that's your chance. Be patient, wait for the right moment to use the strobe bulb and go for it. You're not gonna do anything while I'm charging this, are you? No. Alright, wait for him to come down. Fine, he got fine. Fine, I'm here waiting. Just hurry up and hit me. Okay, he actually has to attack. Or she, I guess. Nope, still too early. There it is. Three times? Fuck off! Ugh. Yay for padding. Yeah, no, not not enjoying the padding. This is not a padding I enjoy. It wasn't fun when it was the mouse, and it ain't fun when it's the cat. All right, well, fine, I'll do this then. Come on, Luigi. I can't, oh, I can fall off. Down. Oh. 
Oh, don't tell me I have to go through multiple floors, too. Full of money, I guess. Oh, come on. I looked away because I expected there to be nothing. Come on! Try that again. I assume it literally meant one floor down. <sighs> Dude, I didn't even like the Pulter Pump mechanic that much in two. Can't believe they brought it back in three and somehow made it worse. I assume it's much less of it though. It's clearly rule of three because of the three tails, but... Did I miss any gems on the 8th floor? I missed a bunch. I'm just not worried about them right now. I figured I'd come back when I had to go get the movie. Same with the boo. Worst part of 3 and I don't know why they made it. I guess someone just really liked the mechanic. Easily the worst part of 3. Funny that everyone said that stage eight was like their favorite floor. I'm and hang on. Funny how they said stage eight was a lot of people's favorite floor, and then it seems to be bookended by one of the least favorite mechanics in the game. Interesting balance there. But I mean, I didn't like it when they did the mouse thing earlier, so it sucks that I have to just do it again. And someone, I think, accidentally let slip that you, it happens three times total in the game? So I'm assuming somewhere else there's another situation where this happens. Would be happy to be wrong about that one, though. Oh, they fixed the, the floor thing. Oh, but the cat was in here anyways. I want to speak to the cat. Hi, buddy, I hear you. Cat. Oh, the cat's in here. I guess not. Oh, yeah, no, it's right. I was overthinking. Well, now we just wreck everything. Let's 
Let's fight! Here, I'm gonna stare at this star. This will be your chance. Oh, pretty, I got it! I definitely don't see this giant cat trying to murder me. Now you're just a cat. I think it's after the dealing with this polar case thing that the movie gets completed. Okay, good. I'm gonna just let that chair do some sick uh, breakdancing moves and move on. Oh, I hear a mister. Just want to make sure I'm still alive. That's it. He's mad. I can see why. Nice work, <laughs> oh, bye. And he's gone. That was Bagel. He's he's being himself. He's doing all right otherwise. Now, is that just up higher up in this area, or is that another floor altogether? Let's assume they're staying in here. You can only deal with one cat right now, huh? Well, he left. Bagel left. Bagel's enough cat for, for many ghost cats, so. I will use the chainsaw on this goddamn ghost cat if I have to. It looks like it is not an option, though. Uh, Gooigi, I need your help. Oh, God, really? Okay, whatever. Don't cross the tongues! You think you can hide from me in the melon room? Foolish cat. You don't understand my power. Here. Or I forgot what I'm supposed to do in the melon room. One of the two. Timing's probably changed this time around. Nope. You're kidding. You're fucking kidding. You're fucking kidding. Oh. Just, just put it in your pocket. <laughs> yes. <sighs> yeah, I guess I have to deal with the the cat when I get to the actual final, well, penultimate boss, I guess. The manager. At least you can ride the vine slide. This is faster because they fixed the path. Although it's not as fun, I'll give you that. Ah. 
It may actually be longer until the movie is done. I'm not sure if it was after the Polterkitty segment or if there's something else later on with Polterkitty. Nice. The way I found fighting him was to use Guiji. The cat does not care about Guiji and only cares about Luigi, so it looks away and have Guiji do everything. Ah, uh, interesting. I mean, we're here. Let's put the button in. Let's activate the floor and then let's see if the movie's done. Oh, yeah. If the movie's done, yeah. we'll uh, we'll try to get the gems before we go to break. If it's not, we'll go to break. Uh -oh. oh yeah. Morty's editing will be finished by the time Luigi retrieves the nine floor button from Polter Kitty. Ever thought of making your own movie, John? I would love to, but I do not have the budget. Or the team to get it done, aside from Coliseum crew, but, uh, yeah. Alright, well, let's see. Some people are saying you can do- you can get it now, some people are saying later. Let's see which part is correct. Next year, instead of bumpers, just make a movie. I would love the idea of us doing not a bumper, but actually, but every bumper slot being like an episode of a series or when it's put together, it turns into a movie. I think that would be really neat, but I think the feasibility of that is in the negatives. Oh, at last, my masterpiece is complete. Filled with gripping action, dripping with emotion. Oh, and the suspense, it has it all. Feast your eyes on this. If, uh, if it is not the very definition of true art, I don't know what it is, or what is. Okay, well, how do I watch it? I want to watch a movie. Huh? Let's watch it together. It was a calm, peaceful night in the big city of anywhere, USA. Until the Luigi arrived. He walked very slowly and carefully, being very scared of being such a big boy. But then he found the biggest boy of all, Boozilla. Boozilla hated buildings with a passion, probably because he didn't have pants. Luigi was scared because of fire and was lit on fire a bunch, but he ran away a lot. And that was what he needed, the power of friendship and running away together. And a lot of yelling and mashing of the A button helped defeat Boozilla and his lack of pants. We did it, Patrick, we saved the city. That was the movie. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, at last, my best piece is complete. All right, so uh, do I get the achievement by capturing him now, or what? Do we even have to capture him? So you can be nice and don't need to catch Morty, but if you do, you get an achievement and completion. Ooh. Ooh! I have to capture him for completion! That sucks. Oh. I'm sorry, bud. I liked your movie, though. Oh, phew. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Okay, so, uh, I thought you said there was a- was that the achievement? Was the capture the, the ghost? I thought there was one for letting him finish the movie. Or was that that achievement? That was the achievement? Okay. The movie does not have an achievement, if I remember correctly. Okay. The achievement is capture the director ghost. The movie is just a cool miss missable bonus. Gotcha. All right. Well, yeah, I'm bummed out I had to catch him too, but I did say I was going for as 100% as possible, so. All right, so now we got to find those remaining gems. And we're missing three. Should we try to get him now or should we go to break? Is there an in-game achievement list to check? Yes, there is. But it's not the most in order. <laughs> Capture Director Ghost in Paranormal Productions. You gained some progression, but at what cost? You guys are acting like I killed the ghost. It gets captured. It's still alive. Well, as alive as a ghost is. Sucked up all the merchandise in the hotel shop. What did I not... How did I miss one there? What did I not get? It was his last week before retirement, John. No, it wasn't. He ain't no cop. Two of the gems are relatively easy. I'm even wonder who the real monster is here, John. Jesus, you guys. Second. No oh god. Okay, okay. Oh, this this perspective is questionable. Hey, remember that talk I had the other stream about perspective issues? This is, uh, this is also one of them. Although, this one I feel is more on the game this time. This is not exactly a good angle to do this kind of platforming on. You can move Luigi to make it easier, can I? Well, hang on, let me get let me get him up. Let me get uh, Luigi back up there first. All right. Now oh, that's better. This part still sucks though. Especially since I can't use the lights as as help anymore. Fuck off. Oh, now I can't fall down if my life depended on it. What? Ooh. You can't fall up? You can only fall down? All that? Why? Ugh, whatever. All oh, right, no, I need to use this. Uh, 
Hello. I assume because the camera's knocked over, this ain't gonna work. Yeah, I can't activate that anymore. So what are my options? Is the torch still back in the other one? I guess we didn't go to set two. Torch is gone. So is it just still sitting lit in room four? Sure fucking is. <laughs> uh -huh. I assume we've already tapped these it for their value. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Two left to get. Trying to think of what rooms we found one in. Usually there's one per room, so that would mean roughly every room has one. Oh, and, and Kuiji's going off as well. Hang on, let's check the Yeti first. There, Bob. That's not how you hug. Not oh, time to break shit. Or not. I think your last two are in the same room. What? What is going on with that sound effect? Hello? That was weird. All right. No, faintly wiggly. Uh, faintly wiggly. Faintly wiggly. Uh, more wiggly. Oh, that's that's kind of wiggly. Ooh, very wiggly. Ooh, super wiggly. Ah, oh, it's money, but. The way he's wiggling, I thought that was it. See more of the pile of leaves? Mm. If he's in one of them, it's gonna be in this one. Blacklight? No. It's going crazy. What? Not plunger. Although something fucking broke. Was it in the entryway? Oh. 
Looks like it is. I just gotta let the camera get back over there. This would make the most sense. Yep. I'm the voodoo, sir! I can get a table anywhere I want. Boo, I gotta get all that money you dropped. And I hear a drum roll too. From Jiggy. Hey Jiggy. I run counter matches for you in a minute. I'm busy catching booze. On countermeasures, and while that's going on, I'm gonna see if I can spot anything you know, off in the distance. Be right back. Jiggy, thank you so much for the raid. Hopefully your stream was good. Uh, we're doing game clearing of Luigi's Mansion 3. I'm playing it blind. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Uh, I'm trying to find the remaining two gems on this floor, but I'm not taking hints from chat. So I'm trying to think of what floors, that we, what rooms we've gotten stuff in so far. Uh, entry room for sure. The main room. Where did we find the other two? Ah, shit, I forgot where the other two even were. Yeah. Oh, Shockwave brings up a good point. Somehow you are playing this blind, except for having played the final boss already. Yeah, I have seen the final boss of the game, and I had played the beginning couple floors a couple times, so... I'm in this weird conundrum of, like, I know how the game ends. I just didn't end how it begins, I just didn't know the middle. Whoop. Oh, it's just that again. Yeah, that's already tapped out. Hmm. Did it. Wait, seriously? There's nothing here? I'm actually surprised. Whoa. Would have thought they would have hit something there. Get gems you already got were entryway, main room, studio four, and studio three. All right, so that really only leaves three rooms per se. Although I think someone said that there might be two in this case in one. So we haven't done studio five, two, or one. And I guess the editing room. Hmm. 
Maybe it's in the movie? I don't believe we can actually use the movies anymore. The cameras, I believe, are lost causes now. Yeah, they're broken. Now? Nope. Wow. I get the one in the studio entrance. Uh, the one in the helicopter? Yes. We got a helicopter, melted ice, the ghosts, and, uh, and then the bottle. Those are the four we've gotten so far. I'm paranoid because of last time. Now I'm gonna look like everywhere. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Uh -huh. Last two are in the exact same room. I mean, it being in here would make sense. Wow. Whoa. But also, wow. this is the boss room, and up to this point, I don't think Whoa. the boss rooms have had anything in them. The studio entrance and the place with the helicopter are different areas. Ah. Oh. Okay. So yeah, I've got elevator hall, uh, backstage, studio three, and studio four then. In that case, let me go check the actual entrance hall part of the map then. This should have already done. Or not. There's one of them. Okay. Well, in that case. Where's the other one? Okay, I'll take pearls. Sure. So we already did that. Did we just we destroyed that? Guestbook. Smash Brothers and invites. So it's probably gotta be something to do with these. It wouldn't surprise me if it was a Luigi's Mansion one that had something in it. Destroy that one? That's cool. Ah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Uh, so now the question becomes, because none of those are interactable, right? Yeah. Yeah, 
That's wow. Not bad. I mean, the punch-out glove would have been my guess for doing something. But none of them had a lock-on to do anything, so that's why I'm thinking it's not the case. Put that back on. I guess the only thing I didn't try for sure was I didn't... Destroy all of those yet. Come on back. Come on back, little Mac. Damn it, I thought I saw something fly up, but it was just money. Is there anything else I can punch? I already did that. Can I punch the punch out spot? No. I guess the only other thing I didn't mess with, because I already did these lights. Or the speakers, rather. Wow! Hmm. Where could it be? with Gooigi. It's just money, so I don't think that's going to be anything. Which gem are we missing? Uh, I'll check here in a second. I think it's yellow. Nope, we already got yellow. It's red we're missing. Which, to be fair, I see a red glow here, which would make me think something there, but I can't tell if that's a reflection of the carpet at this point or not. No, I think that's overthinking. Just in case it was something obtuse like that. Sad I can't punch that foot. Well, let's check the editing room. It's the last thing I can think to check, at least. I feel like we already checked this one pretty thoroughly. Is it in this room?
Yes. Maybe it was punch the foot? Nope. Whoa! It is not obvious. Making sure these are separate rooms. So if it's separate rooms, then it's studio entrance specifically that they're in. Is it studio entrance, entrance hall, or elevator hall? Studio entrance, okay. Can I do anything with the lights? much else to try at this point. I feel like I've already shot the plunger and the, the boxing glove at everything. Wait. Oh, for fuck's sake. Is it the carpet? No. There it is. Uh -huh. oh. Fucking sneaky! Yeah. Ho, ho, ho. Fucking sneaky with these, man! On our way to floor nine, we're gonna go to break first, because wow, we are half over half hour over when we usually take break. When we come back from break. We'll be scared. Because that never happens in a Luigi's Mansion game. Flowers and birds! And a pink dinosaur. The museum. Oh god, how many floors are in this one? Mm, something's up there. That's no way that's all it is. That's no way that's all it is. Alright, let's drop some eggs. King Monty, Ginger Lord, and the Phantom Agus, thank you all for the gift subs. None of your fudge. Thank you for the new sub. Welcome to the community. Charlotte P for 89. Terenzu for 99. Psychotic Gex for 99. And Michael for the win for 87. Everyone else, thank you as well for hanging around as long as you have. I appreciate it as always. All your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. Had it open. What are you talking about, John? Do you want things to be bigger? I mean, I always do. Fury, you know that. Not like it's a weird ass catchphrase I have for some weird reason, though. Uh, ooh, okay, I'm gonna end with that one, actually. Uh, let's see, we've got two from Game Fan and one from Only a Chatter. Alright, we'll start with this one from Game Fan labeled Bagel. That's it. That's all it is. Skip that other game fan one for now. Only a chatter with, am I hearing things or did Luigi swear in the movie? And that was what he needed. The power of friendship and running away together. 
He says, oh, yeah. But, man, I can definitely see you hearing that as holy shit. And that was what he needed. The power of friendship and running away together. <laughs> and the last one I got here is actually the first one in the carton from Horizon Strider. Initialize on the horizon. Done by Popsky. Ooh. Slow temp. No. No. Did you fucking do a Celtic bagpipe rendition? Remembrance Day ceremony there. Popsky and Horizon, thank you for making that real. Good God. Popsky, this means you have to do the banjo one now, by the way. Now you have to make a banjo one. I want my dueling banjos initialized. All right, we're going to go to break. When we come back, I'll grab some Cocoms and we'll do the ninth floor of Luigi's Mansion 3. See you guys in a bit.
Chris Gold. Yo. Yeah, chat, we did it. We got rid of the mods. There's no mods. I hate to tell you this. See, there's there's a mod coming. There he is. It's Leg Day Lapras, everyone's favorite mod. The oh no. I don't, I don't know the Leg Day Lapras. <laughs> the realization as you see it. How, how did Hello. Leg Day Lapras get in We are here? contacting you today about your game's extended warranty. Please wait when we get you on the hold with a representative. Okay. Guys, we got like 10 minutes before he comes back. I was expecting hold music. I was waiting for it. Yeah, I'm waiting for it. I think also the hold music is waiting for it. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. There go. Yeah. Is that cool? One of you for waiting. All right, am I through yet? No. No. <laughs> oh, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for waiting. Your call nice, is nice of a whole bunch to say I'm not through yet. <laughs> I forgot that I uh, put on noise suppression earlier today. Were you playing the music so the entire up. time and realized you did not? It wasn't coming through. For a moment. <laughs> also, you're just now noticing. I've had this icon for a few days, and people are just now noticing it. Look, I, I, I didn't see it with that... the message though, with the name. Oh, that oh, I, I just changed. Changed. I just remembered that, like, I totally forgot that I named myself Dry Proton John in the Discord for like five <laughs> days. <laughs> <laughs> just because I saw, I think it was Trey. He like had himself as wet proton john so i was like well i guess i'll be dry no that i think it was montaru, was montaru. Mon oh, yeah, okay. water montaru had his name to wet proton john i tend to have a name crisis like every couple of days because somebody keeps changing it <laughs> you don't you don't have the 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 right to do it everyone's doing it for you well All no right. i actually managed to, i can change my name back that's true it's All just right. that somebody keeps i know maniacal does a few but somebody else changes to just Z z z z z z z z z. I don't know who. Should should I keep this? Uh, should I keep the telephone on, or should I turn that off? You you may want to actually switch to to Discord proper. All right, give me a moment. Maybe maybe jump up from like the late '80s, early '90s to a, to at least <laughs> Skype levels. <laughs> You're talking about 2007 Skype or 2014 oh, Skype? Oh yeah, which which one do you remember more fondly? being disconnected constantly. <laughs> that sounds like AOL Instant Messenger. <laughs> no, that's that's when I have like uh you know my chemical romance song lyrics is my way message. <laughs> <laughs> Alright folks tonight for CoComs we've got Proof Gold, we've got Albino Shamrock, and we've got uh, Laughing Boy LP actually joining us properly for the first time, other than uh, hopping in on the fifteenth anniversary stream. Holy crap, it's famed Twitch streamer Jontron. Oh, don't. Don't even. Don't even. <laughs> no. Some, some people still genuinely think that. I'm just like, man, you, you gotta learn to read. <laughs> if you can't tell the difference between multiple Johns, you're in trouble, because that's like the most common Anglo, Anglo Saxon name, so. Well, I was gonna, well, you have enough Johns to deal with. Ah, uh, but see, you've made the mistake of putting two Andrews into the call tonight. Ooh. You did. It's true. You did. Am I Andrew? Or am I, Andrew? <laughs> both, Andrew. <laughs> I'm gonna start saying Andy just to bug you both. I will murder you. <laughs> well, okay, who gets Andy then? That's the that's the question. Here, chat. Can somebody make a poll for the chat? Which one gets stuck with Andy? Laughing Boy or Shamrock? No, 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 no. Who gets Andrew? Andrew or Andy? An ooh, Angie. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, who gets Angie? <laughs> Look. I think you've just awoken there. some form of deep hatred. <laughs> <laughs> a primal beast has been awoken. No, after 10,000 years, I'm free. The time uh, to conquer Earth. Laughing Boy, do you Maybe. have access to the Cocom feed? I do not. Okay, I, look. This look, is my first day. 
Uh, technically, you're correct. Uh, look at the pins in VIP. There should be links to, yeah, Cocom feed, links on the new server from Tomoyo. Uh, pick either light mode or dark mode, and if you want, chat. I do like dark mode. If you're not sure of that link, please, we appreciate it. Yeah, so this will uh, give you the stream minus our commentary. So you'll hear the game with barely any delay, and you'll also hear any alerts that go off. Or so any, this or any is how it works. Yep. I'm finally inside the chocolate factory. <laughs> <laughs> Surprisingly yeah, few so Oompa Loompas. There's a lot Look, less signal than I hoped. Just just the it's same amount of like uh, bodily harm, though. Just the same amount yeah. of violence to children. The pandemic. No Oompa Loompas, just very angry workers. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker. Goddamn shit. It. <laughs> I'm about to have a major fit. Unions, unions, we don't have those. <laughs> I don't have the money to afford a union, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Johnny Wonka. Oh, no. The has been created. All right, uh, let's read some alerts quickly. Let's hop over to Art Block and then let's get back to Luigi's Mansion 3. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Don Smile Esquire says, Woo, made it in time for the powerful suck. That's true. There is, in fact, a vacuum. Legend Daniel says, Hello, Mr. John, person, and chat. Hello. The Legend of Daniel says, Hi, P train. The only thing I know about joking about Ohio is why Ohio is different from all the other states because it is high this in is the middle and me round on both sides. Look at your left. What? It's not complicated. I saw it on the map. Yeah. Well, there. friends. I look forward to meeting new people again. Uh, do, 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 do. Mega Nerd says, A donation of thanks for enduring my game withdrawal ramblings on Friday when I was upgrading my Switch SD card, which simultaneously put my Switch and PC out of commission until everything was done. Yep, I've been there, because it takes me 12 hours to trans transfer cards now, which sucks. And I had to do it doubly because I was moving everything over to the, uh, the OLED. So I had to move everything to the computer and then format the card, and then move everything back onto the same card. It was very stupid. Yeah, easy peasy. Alright, I see how it is. We're just gonna pull out the list here. Oh. So, Shamrock, congratulations. You're Angie now. How do you feel? Yeah, why do you think I'm pulling out the list? <laughs> <laughs> Legend of Daniel says, wait, John, Ghostbusters taught us to not cross the streams. Too bad. Everything's destroyed now. Dan Metro Arnold says, Congrats for passing the very hard part of floor eight where I lost, I kid you not, over 200 HP chasing down that goddamn cat. Oof. Oof. Yeah, the cat's terrible. I really, yeah, that cat segment kind of sucked. And not in the, I'm fun, I'm fighting ghosts with a vacuum way. Uh, Retro 64 Polygon says, Hey, John, love that you're playing this. No spoiling what it is, but floor 11 is my favorite, so I hope you have fun when you get to it. Let me see, we got floor 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, roof, and sub-basement left to do, too, so, hmm. I don't know if we're gonna get to 11 tonight, but we'll see. Legend Daniel says, here's my remaining bits just for John's running commentary of the movie. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed my dub. <laughs> Hypercole says, don't usually do this, but John, have you heard of a game called Skater Gator? It's an auto-running skateboard game with simple controls and a very adorable gator. Three bucks on Steam and Itch.io with over 20 worlds and unlockable gator skins. I have not, which I assume that's what the donation's for, for me to pick it up. So I will grab is that it. The game you keep, is that the game you keep retweeting all the time, Cole, that I see on my Twitter? Might be. And then Cole gave me more bits saying meant over 20 levels. Oops. Well, there you go. All right, let's hop over to our blog. Battery back saves. Put it in your Game Boy. Bring it with you everywhere. <laughs> that was always my favorite thing that you would see on the back of a SNES box. Like when they had nothing else like decent to say about it, they'd be like, "Yeah, you you can save." Dude, well, I mean, to be oh. fair, back then that was kind of an important feature. So like that was worth advertising. I think at the start, sure, but like Donkey Kong Country. We, Is that on we the box for Donkey man. Kong Country of all things? I have. To, well, look, you're the one with the box. I actually. I'll, I'll go get it. Hang on. Oh, so apparently it was the incorrect gator. I'm just... He's right! <laughs> Wait, what? 
Donkey Kong Country Madness and Mayhem in this 3D Gorilla Thriller, the most amazing 3D graphics and incredible sound ever, the biggest Nintendo adventure yet, and an incredible 32 megs. Starring Donkey Kong and introducing his sidekick Diddy Kong. Battery-backed memory saves your progress. Over 100 levels, including tons of secrets and hidden bonus levels. That game has, like, enough to say about it, but they decided to still be like, oh, by the way, you can still save your game. Oh, don't worry about it. And as somebody who just, like, that's my very first game ever, I was just kind of like, this means nothing to me. Well, let's look at, like, let's look at how many games that came before it that actually had, like, a battery save. Is, is it sad? Is it sad that I went and looked at the box for Donkey Kong Country 2 to see if it also mentioned that? <laughs> I no. It's not on there. All right, let's get the art block prop. Let's uh, let's get the art block proper here. Sorry, from Gaia. Look, a sparkly Rosa. Got some floof going too. It's been a hot minute. I've recently come to terms with the fact that my creativity just dies when I'm stressed or in a bad headspace. It sucks, but at least I won't feel as frustrated as my at myself during those times for not drawing. Sometimes it just doesn't come out. I can only imagine how frustrating creative blocks must be for someone who does creative work for a living. Yup, been going through that for a while. Feel you on that. Then on a more positive note, though, I'm glad to say I'm once again overflowing with ideas, and I might have more time in my hands soon. Oh, and belated congrats on the 15 years of craziness, John. That's a long time on the internet. It sure fucking is. Thank you, guys. So for those who haven't seen this before, Guy has been doing this, uh, this series called Rosa Flavors, where she's been mimicking art styles and designs of Rosa from other artists. So this is actually Yoke the Joke's take on Rosa. But if you click the Rosa flavor tag, uh, you can see basically the more common uh, Rosa versions that have been around there. Like obviously we got Mel, Jumney, Tiger, uh, I almost said Maya, I said meant Mika. Uh, <laughs> we've got Junko, we've got, oh fuck, oh no! Fuck! Spo Tulip, there we go! The brain, brain got me there, Spo Tulips and Rhymes. And now we've got Yolk the Jokes in there too. There we go, got them all. That was that was that was a rough one for a second there, Tulip. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, my brain just completely my complete hiccup. <laughs> ah yes, of the oh fuck estate. Yeah, it happens sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes yeah, you just yeah. get that that in there. Thank you, guy, for doing those. By the way, nice to see them continue. From Storm, Kitty Forest made a comment when I was talking about my Dex redraw project of a Lucagen rapid ash, and that's what this is. That's very Luca colors. That's a good old my balls for for Reese. Or a respadash, as the tag says up there. Thank you, Storm. Followed up with this nice take here, too. Leading on from the respadash that I just uploaded, this piece is officially commemorating my first anniversary on the Buru. Where I will go from here, who knows, but I ain't stopping art in this community anytime soon. I actually like the shading you did on this, on the updated version. It's very nice. Let me just shrink it down here so you can see it a bit better at its actual sizes. Again, like, yeah, the shading looks way better and it stands out a lot more. Nice pop to it. Well done. Mm-hmm. Next up, ooh, I did tweet this out the other day, but I did not have the full list here. From Kiki. So I was commissioned to make a beef roux mod for 100% orange juice. Uh, when I started this mod, at first I thought this would be rather easy since little beef roux has such a simple design. Then five hours passed. It was surprisingly hard to make the little guy in the OJ style, but regardless, little beef is now here to play. With the TRG OJ playthrough coming to an end, I'm a bit sad to see it ending, but I'm super happy you guys showed how chaotically fun the game is. If you overlook the salt, of course. Thanks for showing off my mods too, it really helped my self-esteem receiving so much love from you and the community. Also, the person who commissioned uh, me to make the Beefaru mod bought like 30 or something of them from me, uh-oh. So uh, yeah, let's just say to expect a lot of updates to the Rosa, John, and Friends mod. Jesus, you're gonna have the entire roster change at that point. Please pray for my sanity. Good luck, Kiki. So here we go. We got Beefaroo's idle. His attack is using the uh, the bubble launcher from Busta Move. Uh, rolling is just a good old Bayampa. Or I guess no, actually that's a that's a Beefaroo. Uh, Beefaroo or Boodoo? I can't. Uh, I think Beefaroo was actually what it should be. Okay. I forget. And then this should be about the same too. And then there's a little beef that's, bubbles yeah, there. That's yeah, that's Beefaroo. Yeah. And then there's the hurt, his little heart. And then if he's KO's, he gets tied up and put on a plate for dinner. My God. Savage. And then the the hyper card is this very bubble bobble styled art of Beefaroo with a little food bubble. Very cute, Kiki. Thank you so much for doing this. Even if the poor boy's getting roasted for dinner, apparently. Nope. Oh. 
Oh, why did someone take that one away? I actually wanted to look at that one. Oh. All right, well, apologies to the person who uploaded that there, but apparently that was a picture of every game I had gotten them to buy over the years of me streaming. I wanted to show that off, so I don't know why that got removed. But uh, apologies to them, but thank you for submitting that. That was a, a lot of games on that. All right, next up from VCAT. TRG Coliseum, Chaos Cookie 2, Cause Chaos. Let's break a record. Hi, John, calling all donators. We need to uh, cause as much chaos as possible. Just don't allow Wario to see or touch any of the donations. Note this message was delivered for about a, uh, delayed for about a month. The Chaos Cookie has concluded. Till next time. <laughs> Thanks, VCAT. So for those who haven't seen, VCAT's been making uh, WarioWare DIY minigames of the actual uh, segments from Coliseum. So this they did last year's Coliseum, and now they're doing this year's. Alright, hang on. Alright, well, I've got a backup. I can show it. So this, I wanted to show this, because I thought this was actually uh, like a really sweet visualization of things. Uh, the message is missing, unfortunately. Oh, here we go. I know it's a little late for 15th anniversary of content celebration posts, but I didn't have the opportunity to make this until now. I'm also a game collector, and you're a big reason as to why. Uh, my mother collects records, so I guess she's a factor too. What better time than now to make a mostly accurate, but probably misremembering a few, post of every single game uh, I've bought because of seeing your streams. There are some I bought where it's related to one of the games you bought, or one of the, where I saw you play one game, I bought every game in said series. Far, Far Cry and Layton come to mind there. May our collections be bountiful and never stop growing, assuming that the prices don't balloon more than they already have. God. Yeah, I feel you on that. Full list provided in the comment below in case you have trouble reading it all. Uh, that was from the video game Raptor Boggle. This is, this is so much. And like, yeah, a lot of these games we've streamed. Holy shit. That's a, and some of these we haven't. Like, we have never streamed the great Edgar Hunt from Animaniacs. Uh, we never did Evil Within 2 or 1. But like a lot of these, we definitely have. This is this is cool to see visualized. So sorry that got removed, but this is really fucking cool. Raptor Boggle, thank you so much for sharing this. Hell yeah. I'm not going to read out the full list, uh, but I do have the written version of it. And again, feel free to re-upload that. I don't know why that one got removed in the first place. You got Hybrid Heaven. Oh man, Hybrid Heaven's like so weird and fun. Oh, and you keep telling people not to become game collectors, and yet you force them to become game I'm collectors. I'm not forcing anyone to be a game collector. That's a, that's their decision. It's a bad decision, but it's their decision. Since when have drug dealers started make. reverse psychology? <laughs> <laughs> From Senshi, just a wholesome drawing of Horse Mom, giving Rosa a big hug. I've been waiting. I've been, blah, blah, blah. I've been wanting to practice drawing multiple characters interacting with each other, and had this idea. Plus, I thought it was cute. It's very cute. Thank you, Senshi. I like it a lot. She's so happy. Look at these two smiling. Hmm? Next up, it's a Jonte with a vacuum. So today's my birthday, and I want to indulge in making something featuring one of my favorite alts, Jonte. And since you've been going through Luigi's Mansion 3, I thought, why not put Jonte in Luigi's outfit? And here we are. Very nice. Happy birthday, Theta. Thank you for the lovely art. For some reason, I see Jonte hiding the vacuum in her hair so she can still fight like she would in like in the games. So I could see that just being like slipped in there. She like whips her head, and then a vacuum cleaner just pops out of the, the ponytail and grabs an enemy and just goes back. But I have a feeling that would lead to some some tragedies because of that. Thank you, Theta. Next up. You're too late, negative. I have finally reached Asura's Butterfinger Stash. Wait, did you say Asura's Butterfinger Stash? Yes! Yeah, I'm just gonna leave you be. What? Oh well, more for me. Pow! From Negative Pro, Asura, nobody better lay a finger on my Butterfinger. So I picked up Asura's Wrath with the DLC on my Xbox for six bucks thanks to a Capcom sale, so I decided to play that, and yes, it still is cheesy as ever. And it seems Cat John now knows that there is something worse than making Osra's daughter cry. Also, I recently heard the best line in Power Rangers history, and it came from the Blue Ranger in Power Rangers RPM. People in chat know what I'm talking about. I don't, though. What is the line? Oh, I do. What's the line? I'm Scottish! So wait, where's the goddamn video? Yeah, what? Show the video, but that was the line. That, but that's the, it. That's just the line. I'm Scottish. Yes, I. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> no it's context on that. All right. I think it was just like, "What are you?" And his reply is just, "I doubt oh, this I'm is VOD safe, but feel free to if you want to watch it." 
Alright, I'll check it out later. From Sintenda, silly shit, I think, listening to John. Hey John, been a hot minute. I've mostly been keeping uh, up with steam or stream VODs on YouTube when I can. Thought it'd be fun to draw a Rosal Axe when I saw the egg from the other game clearing stream. I made it real quick on a lunch break, but I kind of wanted to draw a bigger version with a silly gag comic idea included. I decided I'll wait on your thoughts and hopefully do so by Wednesday. Maybe maybe I'm in no rush, but it helps me push past art block. Now please excuse me while I lurk and avoid drawing myself with a Buru curse for another year. Go for it. I actually like this uh, the Rosal Axe idea. It's cute to see other takes on that. And it would go along with the other Snorlaxes I have. So there you go. Go for it, Sin. Next up, from Nova of Old Stones. <laughs> Punch the TV something. I don't know. Punch it or something. Something about punching TVs? I don't know. I probably misheard it. It's been a day, but at least there's a stream from a streamer who brings a lot of comfort on this end of things. Oh, thank you, Nova. I appreciate it. Thank you for the lovely Luigi. Ready to punch some TVs. Joe joke. Get it? JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. See, the joke is that John is doing a pose of that character, Jonathan Joestar from Part 1 does, but Michelangelo Ninja Turtle trademark represents a stand. Concept from Part 3 and onwards, and the other goes to Karis. Rosa John has short hair. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna lie. I fucking thought this was me. <laughs> I didn't even piece together because the lack of glasses, everything didn't even piece together. That's supposed to be Rosa with short hair. And there you go. That's Rosa with short hair. Very nice. Is awesome that a goddamn JoJo reference? Yeah, right there. There, there's, there's the JoJo reference. That's what Maniacal put in uh, in announcements today on the sub server. Me doing that JoJo pose when we were going through the pictures on uh, the Wednesday stream, the 15th anniversary one. Thank you, Buttery. Uh, my alarm is going off, but we only got one row, so I think I'll wrap up the row. We did it, Guiji. We saved the city. John made this joke verbatim. Yeah, it. I couldn't help but think of it when I was destroying the entire city. 100%. Next up from TBG Hunter. Oh, opposing pilots do. Opposing pilots do best to avoid the crosshairs of the Imperial Krug fighters, named after a great orc hero from Empire's past. These fighters' impressive speed from its own twin BPE engines and fast lock on missiles make quick work of any unfortunate pilot who dares to go head to head with them. For those wondering, the fighters based off of Tom's character Krug from his Oblivion LP. That makes sense. Thank you for that. Oh yeah, uh, Raptor, I'm sure if you didn't, if someone didn't tell you already, uh, change the resolution of the picture slightly. For some reason, that fixes it. It's really weird. So like, take the picture, put it in paint, and then add like 10 pixels on each side, and it'll fix it. It's really weird. Except from Ditto, this took a while for me to get the post up, but for uh, whatever reason, the Buru wasn't working when I tried to upload the next part of the story like three times before it uploaded. Here's the next part. Reese polished the lost ring until it shined brighter than ever before, and once her boyfriend came back home, she gave the ring to him as a gift. Here's a little gift for you, hon, Reese said happily as she held out the ring to him. Found this earlier today, and I thought of you. Consider it a bit of good luck charm. You honestly needed some good luck in your life, so I hope this helps. Dun, dun, dun. And now bagpipes. From Horizon Strider. In celebration of the bagpipes initialize, have a Rosa playing bagpipes that I am the, uh, that I, as the commissioner with perfect foresight and planning, had ready to go, and totally didn't panic draw this when I realized I could do this as I submitted the egg into the egg carton. <laughs> oh my god, thanks Horizon for both the initialized bagpipes mix and the bagpipe Rosa. Appreciate it. She's in the panic. <laughs> I, love, I love the panic. The panic design it's like I need to learn how to draw a bagpipe. How do I do it? <laughs> From Ditto. All right, now here's the part of the story where the campaign lore starts to come into play. Uh, this one might be a little too long to read. I'll, I'll we'll do it quickly here. Jonah gladly accepted the gift along with gifting Reese a beloved kiss on the cheek. When Jonah slipped the ring onto his finger, it seemingly changed size to fit him better. Then a second afterwards, Jonah then got a splitting migraine that lasted a few moments before going away. This was a wisdom save. I rolled it and Jonah succeeded his save. Reese started to feel concerned about him when she asked if Jonah was okay. The man replied, saying that he was feeling fine and was probably a minor headache from work, and it's nothing to worry about. Reese took a closer look at the ring now attached to his finger and felt something magical about it, uh, which made her even more concerned. This was an arcana check. Reese rolled an 18, and Jonah got a nat 1. That checks. But knowing how the ring made Jonah so happy, she shook it off, shook off the uneasy feeling, but this feeling she had won't go away in the passing days. Curious to see where this goes. Thank you, Ditto. And the last piece in Art Block currently is a Rosa in big shirt. She seems very <laughs> confused. I have no other statement, that's it. Big shirt. 
Big shirt. Big shirt. Thank you, Jumpy. shirt. Throws me off seeing her actually wearing properly sized clothing. All right. <laughs> let's do it. Let's get back to some gaming. Let's continue Ow. Luigi's Mansion 3. In the, th the... I was about to say theater. In the Unnatural History Museum. Would you like to know something about the gems here? That they are... Uh, they're uh, dinosaur paws? Or footprints? Or rather, that where you are currently, that bottom half of the map, yeah. all six are there. Not a single one is in that <laughs> upper part. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Have fun, motherfucker. I mean, I kind of wish I didn't know that, but at the same time, what? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Make them sick. Wow. Well, there's one. I did it. Oh, I somehow hated that he got it. figured that one out so quickly. Oh, trust me. You'll have trouble with the others. He can then commences to get all six, no problem. If I get all six, no problem, it's out of spite at this point. Oh. Because again, I don't know why Shamrock just told me that when I've specifically been asking people to not do that. But uh, I guess we'll make do. See, this works for me because I haven't played this yet. Hmm. And now I'm living Luigi's Mansion 3 vicariously through streams. Whoa. Just as Twitch intended it. <laughs> okay. Well. Why did I say that? Because you voted to call me Angie. I get one. Alright, that's the only one you get, though. You do that again, and then I actually am changing your name in the server to Angie. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is the reason why you have a list because it's Angie's list? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> they don't need to be here anymore. It's just me and you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What did I do? You oh, know what you, you did. <laughs> it's for past offenses. Past offenses? Okay. Fine. I wasn't gonna do do shit, but guess what, motherfucker? You you've all earned, earned wrath of it at some point in time. Just you wait. See, to be fair though, like I'm just watching the stream at this point. So like, if I I hadn't gone to look, I wouldn't have realized I was in a completely different room for like an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Noted. <laughs> so you know. And that's when you turn on your "I've been moved to a different room" Discord sounds, like I have I, I, enabled in case that happens. Okay, I guess I do have that oh, noise, yeah. but I just kind of like shrugged my shoulders and like, yeah, whatever. I'm very easygoing. Hmm. Oh no, don't want to steam clean it. I mean, if you want to, I'm not gonna stop you. Yeah, just keep doing it. Just keep doing it. I'm not actually sure what this is doing, if anything. <laughs> I'm gonna break this pterodactyl. It look it looks like it's going to. <laughs> Welcome to Jurassic Luigi, what Suck. are you doing? Suck. Suck. Yeah, whatever you do, just don't go from suck to blow. Oh, I thought that's what this was. Oh, uh, there you go. those. I'm actually trying to remember if you can get all of them right now. Well, you don't got any more free passes. <laughs> You're just going to have to keep it to yourself. Well, no, I appreciate yeah, being told Angie. I can't get them all right now. That one's fine. There's two of them. <laughs> Am I wasting my time? 
Yeah, I feel like that that's more a let's save the stream some trouble than anything. I just don't like yeah, being told where they are or how to get them. Yeah, stuff like that can be kind of tough. Like, you don't really want to spoil the experience for somebody, but there are some things that I wish I could save other ah. people from. Yeah, right, I know, yeah I, and I, that's why I try not to get too mad at people in the stream when they when they do that. Because it's like, I get it, you you want to wow. help, but at the same time, I specifically am saying, please do not help. Because I want, I want the genuine first-time experience, which if you tell me what to do, I will never get to have. The first yeah, time true. experiences you, you only get once. You can never have it again. So I want to have that and share that with everyone, which is why I'm always so weirdly strict about spoilers at times. Well, it can also get like... So a lot of people talk about how like difficult the Water Temple is in Ocarina of Time. And I was a seven-year-old with a player's guide and I just was like, I don't know what your problem is. <laughs> See, that's fair. That's entirely fair. I'm not uh, dissing anyone for taking hints or using a guide. I used guides as a kid too, but like. Well, it's more so like my experience was so different because my first time playing through, I had all the answers. Yeah. But everyone's experience was so different because they didn't. So like, you know, it's it's what makes it so interesting to me. Oops. All right, I can confirm you cannot get all of them now. You cannot get all of them now? All right, well, then I won't bother. Yes. That's what I was thinking with the pterodactyl. I'm like, this seems like I don't have enough suction power to do this. And I also can't uh, grab these currently. All right, let's, let's see what to do then. That's for later. Ta-da! Man, that torment's yeah, no. like got worse. <laughs> yeah, just keep walking towards that, uh, towards that noise. Damn, that thunderstorm from down in Texas managed to make its way all the way to here. Yeah, yeah I know, right? In your game. It's very impressive. Stage from KO of Night. Yo, also, yo, Rugal's coming back. Fucking Omega Rugal, why? And then they give him his belt, the boss mode, where he's just literally that SNK difficulty. Uh, boo words. All right, fine. I've looked around. Let's go. Let's go. Try to save Toad. By which I mean fight this T-Rex. Same. Again, the only boo part you will you will know is genocide cutter. Look at your left. Official Luger, thank you for the gift sub bomb. Appreciate it, dude. Well, friend, I look forward to meeting you people again. <laughs> it's kind of well timed. I thought the T Rex said that. And Toad is dead now. All right. He's just straight up he dead. He had it coming. Poor Todd. Ah, black hole yeah. stomach. Nice. Black hole stomach. Won't you, comic? Comic. <laughs> Wash away. I'm getting. I'm losing it. I'm losing it here. I can't get it. Wash away my Kit Kat. <laughs> Need a nice chaser for this toad game. Hey, get mad. <laughs> Just a little bit. Let me bump this down a little bit. I think the game is overpowering some of the Cocoms. I also like to talk like I'm in a late night smooth jazz radio station. You mean you're not? That's my voice tonight. I, you know, I honestly, you know, if the, if the whole IT thing didn't work out, that was one thing that I was thinking about doing, was being like a late night radio DJ. I'm actually gonna be impressed if you figure this out. Oh, I probably it's probably a timing thing. Right? Oh, there was something other or than the for just fucking oh, say it. Oh come on, yeah, we're we're e can just tell me what to do. Oh, I was literally 
I was literally joking, like, maybe you should send your goo friend after him. I well, actually did actually not know that that was a thing. <laughs> and that's he is coffee like flavored. It's a little disappointing that he got kind of comes in so quickly, though. I was surprised you. he did that so fast. Yeah, Otacon at least gave me 15 minutes before he told me to switch the controller ports. <laughs> Wasn't that Colonel? I guess that was Colonel. Now, my favorite is still Metal Gear Solid 4 when you switch the controller ports in that one battle, and then Otacon tells you, like, Snake. You know that's not going to work, right? I still, I still love the vibration is back. Yeah. <laughs> I bought a DualShock 4. Uh, no, sorry. I bought a DualShock 3 right before I got to that part in the game because I wanted to experience it. You can turn off EGAD's hints. Yeah, people complained that I had them off last time, so I turned them back on. <laughs> I have them back on. Isn't it great when you can't win? Yeah, it's fantastic. I just, just roll with it. I'm just playing however I want. I, but here's the thing. <laughs> Genuinely, I'm surprised he got he, like, he interrupted that fast. I would have been like, all right, give me a little bit. <laughs> EGAD's just sitting in the corner like that. Oh, right, no, okay, it wasn't the fact that we had them on, it was the fact that we turned them off on purpose because he was doing something annoying, not letting us do something, and then he was still doing it anyways. That's why we left it back on. Oh, Because we turned it off because we were like, man, shut up, Egad, I want to do some exploring, and then we turned it off and he still kept doing it. Egad just calls you, did you leave me on read? How dare you? Excuse me, that is my proton pack. Crap, 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 get up, Luigi! Okay, wow, I have, I have, wow! Get up, Jesus! All right, so that is I have to dodge it or I just don't get to any advantage of attacking. <laughs> Boy, am I glad that he's in there and we're out here. What, what I wanna mean? know we're is where's here. the caveman? Where's the caveman? There he is right there, get him! I do like the subtle uh, music change for the thematic of the boss. God, I I love that this is a mechanic that Luigi's just like, eh, whatever, and just slams them into the ground. Way too early. No, no, just right. I love that I can just slam these ghosts into solid objects and it hurts them. Yeah. <laughs> Never underestimate the power of a vacuum cleaner. I'm pretty sure the movie Ghost explains how this works. I thought Potter was involved for it to work like that. And now he's Dinosaur. He was a caveman. No, well, he was a dinosaur. dinosaur first. He was a T-Rex first. He was a black void, technically. Well, he was... I guess he was a caveman that was eaten by a T-Rex, but his spirit was also eaten by the T-Rex. The T-Rex had a very, very powerful stomach. That's so, science. Yeah, no, I mean... What are you, stupid? <laughs> I believe Toad, so. why do you have the button? <laughs> it's Blue Toad. It's-a me. Ah, <laughs> oh, he said the line. See, for me, it's like, it's-a me, Luigi! Oh. <laughs> uh -huh. Is, uh, is, is Mario is, around? Is he in the other room? Like, yeah. <laughs> no? No? Okay. Shit. Hmm. Put the elevator to make sure you stay safe and sound in the lab. You sure you don't want the, the hints off? They seem to have only made your experience worse. I mean, they've only interrupted... Here's the thing, like I said! The first half that we were complaining about wasn't even the hint system. He just does that. I and mean, I'll turn it off, I guess. Oops, that's the wrong menu. Uh, I guess it's in settings. And there we go. All right, turn it off. <laughs> Where your EGAD? I mean, 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Egad this whole time. That's where he's. But yeah, gone. no, this. This floor was uh, very short to kind of make up for the fact that you did two very long floors before it. Makes sense to me. Ah, pacing! Yeah, actual pacing, finally. Hop in the elevator, ignore all the ghosts trying to murder you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hey, the cat has a tail still. I'm just, like, I'm just gonna file that under continuity errors. Hang on, I gotta... I, where, where do I keep putting this damn thing? I only have so many pockets! Oh my god! I did not know that they did that. That is kind of amazing. Oh okay. My god. Keeps it in this, this hat. Here. Oh no, hang on. No. Oh, god damn it, this thing's so huge, you think I can only hide it in one spot anyways. Uh, mm, maybe here, like, uh, no. All right, in my butt pocket. There we go. How do I solve a problem like the Virtual Boy? <laughs> Make it portable. Now then, Luigi, you still need to find one more Toad, Princess Peach, and Mario. We're halfway there. Good luck. <laughs> okay, dokie, bye bye. I'm leaving. I'm scared. Goodbye. So. I have to leave and come back later when I get a certain thing to happen to get the rest of these gems or what? No, you can get them now. Oh, I can get them now? Yeah, yes, I, thought, it was I, think I, I think I saw the item you needed to finally get stuff done. Oh, well then, yes, you just had to beat the boss. That's all oh, and now there's something I can use to smash oh, yeah. and everything. Okay. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> all right, let's go no, smash just, things. Their will was broken once you beat the boss. You know what? Just take me. I don't even care anymore. Time to reenact the plot of Night of the Museum. I don't think the plot well, of Night of the Museum was carry a T-Rex skull into a room and smash everything to pieces. Not the version you watched. Apparently not. <laughs> All right, is this I watched the North Korean the version. Vacuum? No. No, so it's not that. Yeah, it's like Clue. There were three versions depending on which theater you went there to. We and the theater I went to, Ben Stiller just went crazy and smashed things with a hammer for 20. I feel like that would have been a much more minutes. interesting version of the movie. See, that's why I graded it much more highly than everyone else. You just let the item you need leave through the elevator. Oh, Toad? Yeah, I'm just going to throw him in all the glass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, Chad is confirming you actually can use Toad to break that shit. Wow. Amazing. Yeah, it's hilarious. <laughs> I'm over here, Todd. Right, that's number three. Yeah. But of course they thought about that. It's like, what happens if you get rid of him? Yeah, it's like, what if you don't want to commit violence against a toad? Then you saw the to. game. Dude, that's it. You just can't get 100% now. Uh-huh. One of the achievements is literally commit toad violence. <laughs> Did you smash the toad? Good. <laughs> Good, here's three hundred thousand dollars. I'm glad. <laughs> That's an obscene amount of money for toad violence. Again. Again. Do it again. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> yeah. Would you smash a Todd for gems? Absolutely. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Jesus, no, no hesitation there at all. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, have you seen the like, toads? They're, pr they're, they're pretty durable. They'll be fine. I mean, yeah, I had like to play as Blue plushy. Toad for the most part, thanks to Emil really liking the color red. <laughs> and so I have some <laughs> bias, I feel. Why do you like Mario? Eh, I like red. Yeah, so the, the yeah, whole thing was like, when we were figuring out uh, colors for TRG, we ended up just going with the colors we used in our playthrough. Because... Uh, they gave Emil wanted to be player one, so he got Mario. Uh, Tim was given Luigi, and I was given Blue Toad because that was just the third place option. So I'm like, all right, well, I guess that's that. So that's why Blue is my T or G color. That's that's all it is. That's all the context. Wow, it's like I'm doing the Let's Talk interview right now. There you go, the one that we yeah. accidentally put off for years. For you know, five, seven years. What is time, really, John? <laughs> As someone who's been doing this for 15 years? Oh, God, I don't fucking know anymore. 
I'm sure it's it'll happen someday. <laughs> he says as if he has no control over it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And there's, there's always the 10 year anniversary of me streaming Twitch, which is also this year, weirdly enough. I think it's also my 10th anniversary oh, continuously failing to be a content creator. I actually looked up that date. It is a Saturday for your 10th year anniversary. Yeah, it's like July 2nd or something like that. It's like right after Canada Day. Yes. Is this intentional? No, completely unintentional. <laughs> oh, Canada, it's time for another stream. <laughs> Just a few days before 4th of July, too. Man, can life get better? No. No, it cannot. I, I mean, it, it could. Oh. I can actually afford things, maybe. Then life would be alright. <laughs> you did it. You finally broke it. Hooray! Well, now here's the problem. It, I found five of them, but not the sixth one. I feel like I know where number six is. I feel like it's this Triceratops head, but I have not figured out how to activate it yet. Maniacal, the, or no, not Maniacal, somebody else in chat. Uh, the April Fool's Day stream will just be the entirety of my interview with him that we put off for seven years. <laughs> gotcha. But I have a better idea for that. Uh -huh, uh -huh. A better idea for the April yeah, Fool's, I'm but I'm not gonna I'm share it. Oh, right, of course, of course. Because it's gotta be a surprise. Oh. It's gotta be a surprise. Why does it have to be a surprise? Then what's the point of having it? But we, we <laughs> Did you try diplomacy? I like that. Did you try asking? No. Diplomacy never works. Just like in the wonderful 101, diplomacy has always failed. Oh, diplomacy failed. Where it is? <laughs> I'm to oh. kick ass. Yes, pull more. What is the opposite of diplomacy? I think you know that answer. Pawn plumacy. <laughs> Don't think so, but good try. A for effort. <laughs> Yay! You get a gold star. It's gotta be something I need to scan or black light. Yeah, we just, we found out that we could just buy our own psychological validations. <laughs> you can. I see, isn't it just called consumerism? Yeah, it's called buying my own banana stickers. <laughs> I don't need therapy anymore. I just keep buying 3DS games. <laughs> Retail therapy is uh, definitely, definitely maybe, yeah, forms of Wait a minute. Air. Is that an actual world map on the right? Uh, yes. Oh, on the right. I just realized that. Also, friends, I don't know how the hell you've 100% completed every LEGO game. Besides World and Dimensions. It just takes a long time. Oh, it wasn't even where I, I thought it was. Never mind. There we go. We got them all without any help. So what do you think, uh, Shamrock? He did it despite you. Found them all, and we didn't even have to help. So we can't even get the boo yet, though. So let's let's move on to the sub basement. You can pack so many basements in this tower. Well, I hope you didn't like uh, the short levels for too long because yeah. the long levels are coming right back. <laughs> yeah, I, I can see the size of that map. Mario, 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 Mario. 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 He's just saying his first and last name. A bunch of people are saying this is the worst floor in the game. At least one person says this is the best floor, so. This is gonna be <laughs> I like it. Also, you wanted those banjos. Four out of five doctors hate this floor. 
cool. Oh, yeah, this is the floor that that, that, uh, that person we streamed uh, was on yeah. or hosted. We were on on. Uh, You're finally one. there. All right. Oh, means that counted. Oh. Oh, okay, bye. <laughs> uh, oh, whoa, what okay. happened yeah. there? Guess no, that just works. Put the, just put that over there. That'll be fine. Put it anywhere. Yeah. Ah, the rubber ducky box. Of course, of course. I'm going to make sure that was fine. Just put that over there next to the rubber ducky box. You don't have one? <laughs> Put down the ducky. Put down the ducky. We reason that we're hanging out in the living room like three weeks ago, and she just started singing that out of nowhere, and then she just had to put it on the TV for us to also listen to. So it's very <laughs> fresh in my mind right now. Because she was like, I need to find the one with all the like actors her. in it. I need to find the one with Danny DeVito singing it. Oh no. <laughs> Which is true. Danny DeVito did sing uh, in one version of that song. I like how I only had to type in P U T D and yeah, it, it figured the rest of it out. Thanks, Google. <laughs> Google's a magical tool. <laughs> oh, oh. Of course, now that I'm watching one Sesame Street video, I'm about to get like 80 bajillion on my front page, which is. I mean, that's not no, a I've bad thing to change things. your uh, your algorithm with. Yeah, I was about to say, I've, I've had worse issues. Yeah, my algorithm right now is like comedic pundits right now, so I'm like, yeah, I could use for, I could go for some Sesame Street right now. I think I do not think that this is a downgrade at all. Huh? No! The ducky. He's got one ghost hair. Two ghost hairs on his chin. You and me about to have some fun, Luigi! Let me turn the steam to all! Do you think Get ready, ducky... partner! Get ready for a shower! <laughs> Do you think the ducky is a metaphor for drugs? Yes. Oh, okay. Put down the drugs if you want to play the saxophone. <laughs> You're gonna stink worse than a skunk at roadkill after two days on the streets! I didn't I'm trying to expect it. Trying to get that, trying to get that southern drawl because he's just. Admittedly, I do like the, the character caricature that Ghost is trying to be, just kind of humorous to me. Luigi, the hell did Quit you find? Quit sucking up all those ghosts before I kick you out. Who knows? I can't even pan the camera over, but I'm gonna assume it was very important. Ah, it's a ladder. You want to know the name of this boss? Sure. Lay it on me. Is it Ernest? Is it Jim? Is it Jim Bob? That was Cletus. Clam. 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 That's a good Clam. one. That 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 Peppa fits. Pal Clam. Hey there, Peppa Pal Mitch. <laughs> oh hey my there, God. Peppa Pal Clam. Okay. So I assume we need those keys. Let's grab all that. I completely forgot about that bit until you literally said that line. <laughs> I still, I need to remember the one, there's like an episode where Kronk watches too much of it and he has a dream where like he starts controlling the show and their jokes start getting so bad that literally like, I can't remember what the question is, but the other one just goes, is it a bonk on the head? And then he just, Yes, it is. Bonk. He just gets real upset about it. This isn't funny. This isn't comedy. This sucks. Or something like that. Isn't that what happened? <laughs> isn't that how the dream yeah. goes? Yeah. Yeah. So, like, the I think the end of the episode is literally uh, 
one of the puppet pals like wakes up and it's a nightmare that they were having. <laughs> that trope. Ow! It was a dream within a dream. Truly the. Uh... Oh shit! I can't remember the name of the movie now. Inception. Thank you. Truly the inception of its time. Oh yeah. <laughs> All the seven-year-olds at the time were always asking, what do you think that the spinny top meant at the end of that Dexter's Lab episode? <laughs> <laughs> I remember the famous Dexter's Lab catchphrase. <laughs> <laughs> I still remember the episode that like was made by a five-year-old or something like that. Wait, really? Yeah, there was a Cartoon Network contest like back in 90... Uh, five, and it was literally like you know, write in with an episode concept, and we'll turn it into an episode. And the only thing I remember from it was the fact that the kid always made Dexter say, "You are stupid. You are stupid." And oh, don't I, forget, I remember this you bit. You are stupid. <laughs> I remember this. Yes, I do. I remember. I remember stupid. hearing Dexter say that. <laughs> And I swear it came from that episode and it was just written by a kid. That is I think that was supposed to be the joke. Or at the very I think it was the kid a kid narrated the bit. It was like from what I can remember, because it was also drawn in the style of like crayons and everything, so like when you see the episode you really think as a you know, as a another five one five year old to another. You really think that the kid like actually like made this episode in Cartoon Work put it on the air? I think yeah, all he did was write the episode with help and he narrated it. But yeah, the whole episode is about like Mandark making a, a computer with legs and decides that the computer is really stupid. So Dexter and this computer like get back at him somehow. It's it's very nonsensical. It's very much Axe Cop. Yeah, I mean it's it's funny that they're I think Axe Cop and like another TV show where it's kind of written like a five year old talks to somebody and then that somebody creates a TV show out of it kind of concept. It's amazing how that just kind of came first twenty twenty five years before any of that. I think there's like a Cartoon Network commercial that does ask like why does Dexter have an accent where nobody else does? It's <laughs> a fair question though. I mean he literally comes out the womb talking man. It's no problem. That's the least of their worries. And then like he's, he's got already Stewie Griffin he already... issue. <laughs> he was so... already needing to wear glasses almost immediately out. Yeah I think they hand it to him on like a pillow. They do. <laughs> I like to chalk it up as is, is just what happens when you're a young child and baby that you just have a accent for no reason. Yeah, you lose it shortly after birth. I also just remember like the school bus episode where Dexter goes like to the back end of the bus and it's just like oh, covered yeah. in like gum because he's trying to find his number two pencil. Well, and the one where he's like sent to detention and. Uh the detention warden just like the whole joke the entire episode is him going criminals or the one where he makes the janitor go crazy because he keeps making him stay late to clean the yeah, school after yeah, yeah, and, yeah. <laughs> and it goes into like this giant fight sequence by the end of it yeah and he tells the janitor to clean it up after he's done <laughs> <laughs> and then he just loses it this is, for those who haven't been following on, this is Dexter's laboratory. Or Dexter's laboratory. Yes. And then the best part is, like, his wife comes and just picks him up. And then Dexter, wearing only, like, torn up shorts, just walks out in the cold. Yeah. Good times, good times. How much shit is behind this damn banjo? I think it's just it's under the weird. bed. It was also just a weird, that style change they did, like, partway through the show. Yeah, well, it was the show was supposed to end with the movie, 
and uh, the I movie. guess uh, they just was a movie. Yeah, yeah. Trip. Basically, it, just Dexter's from, but basically, uh, Dexter No Way Home. Yeah, basically, I kind of yeah, except like it's one single timeline Dexter, I guess. Like he keeps. It's one of those like uh, looping kind of movies where it starts with him being attacked by robots and he wants to know why or find out why he's been like sent assassin robots after him and uh, through that finds out that like in the future Mandark has taken over and he and two other Dexters from other timelines need to band together to stop him. It was three, uh, three other. It was like four Dexters all together. Yeah, like there was a one really cool post-apocalyptic Dexter and one really skinny nerdy teenage Dexter and old Dex, old man Dexter. Yeah, Billy. And f the ironic thing was, by the end of it, was that when they found out um, they're about to win, Dee Dee just comes in and steals the entire glory. Yeah, and so the reason why the show, the movie loops is because the Dexters get so angry that Dee Dee stole their victory from them that they create an army of assassin robots to go after, quote unquote, the person who defeated Mandark. And so the robots just assume it's Dexter. Yeah. It's a fun movie. Um, but yeah, it was... So the way that they wanted to do the cartoon cartoons back then was that each show would get 52 episodes and then would end on a movie, like made for TV movie. Um, oh, really? So, yeah, because uh, the not the CEO of the time, but like the guy who was in charge of programming had this thing where he would always end shows on 52 episodes. And that's why people got upset at Justice League and Samurai Jack, because the show, both of those shows would originally end once they hit their syndication number. So then they would just be like, all right, I don't care where the show is at now. Show, it's over. Goodbye. And would just walk away from it. Um, but in the case of like Dexter and I think like Powerpuff Girls, it was too popular not to give up. So... They just had to keep going, like with some of those. And I think the original voice of Dexter even left the show at the time because she didn't feel it was right to continue doing them. So, not only is there a style change, but there's also a voice actress change. Man, I do not remember seeing any of those episodes at all. I'm wondering if they, those even aired on live TV. The one I remember the most is an episode where Dexter goes to college. Um, and it's like how he as a child cannot handle college um, because he like he's in academia so now he thinks he's like with people of his same mind but they're all just like lazy college kids <laughs> and so the reason why I remember the episode so much is because they constantly say the phrase party now study later yeah yeah somebody just Tales for Roger just put it in chat but I just remember the one kid that was like Dexter's roommate is like party now study later and so by the time like Dexter's finishing studying and decides he wants to now party, everyone else is now studying for their finals. And he like loses control of himself. And then his parents come and pick him up. It's like, see, I told you he wasn't ready for college. Mm -hmm. The one thing I remember is when they actually showed off Mandark's parents. And oh, just yeah. Hippies. <laughs> they were just hippies? Yeah, yeah. Mandark's real name is Sue. Man, I do not remember this show as well as I thought. <laughs> Holy shit. I think that's I the think entire I'm... episode where they just make Mandark's laugh in sound effects. So, like, I remember his, his mom, like, taps on the floor with her foot, and it just goes... Jeez. And that's it's the entire episode is that same noise. Big switch. Wow. Big switch. Oh, well, I uh, guess I'm drowning. Why is this in a hotel? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> ah, Clem, that jokester. 
Hi, Pulsar Pop. You want to help or anything? Good boy. He helped. Good puppy. Good puppy. How do ghosts even get wet? I don't understand. He doesn't even have fur. Right? I remember Dexter's lab a bit from when I, when I was younger, but I think I might be too young for this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I... I kind of grew up on a lot of Cartoon Network, so... Because when I moved, I originally like lived. I was born in California. I moved to Virginia, and I was like trying to find the new, the old channels that I used to watch. And I just kind of ran into Cartoon Network, and I was like, "Wait a minute! Come on! You can't have a TV station that's 24-hour cartoons all the time." But it's a joke because that's what they said on the ads. It was, it was literally just that. See, we never had, we didn't have that channel in Canada. Like all the shows I got to see from Cartoon Network were all syndicated ones on YTV. Yeah, and I think, like, I think even, like, the Toonami stuff was on YTV, right? Uh, a little bit. That's where I watched Gundam Wing. Yeah, because I think, I think, um, in Canada, didn't you have, like, a different dub for DBZ for, like, a long time? Yeah, which was weird. So, um... I think there's... Y'all should have been the Ocean dub, I think. They I'm had sure. the Ocean dub in the Android saga when we had already moved on to Funimation. Yeah, so we had a, a different dub up to halfway through Frieza Saga, and then it switched to the Ocean dub for the rest of the series. It was really weird. But, like, the dub yeah. that we had at the very beginning was great, because that had Rock the Dragon as the theme song and everything. Yeah, we had that at the beginning, and then I think at some point Funimation was like, wait a minute. We could just do it ourselves. Is that where Dragon Dragon Ball Dragon Ball Z came from, or is that no, just I, the Ocean Dub? I actually don't know who's that. I think that's the uh, the big green dub that everyone makes fun of. I could be wrong, but I actually don't know where I'm, that opening is from. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Because I also know at least with the the Funimation one, like they. They pretty much changed up all the, like, the, the music. Yeah. Chris Sabat, I think, did the music. No, Bruce Falconer. Bruce Falconer, that's who it was. Yep, Chris yep. Sabat is basically the Funimation voice for Vegeta. Yep. And a bunch of other, like, characters. And Big Green. <laughs> Didn't you also see Cartoon Network when you were in Jamaica? Yeah! they. I think it was, like, a... I don't know what actual country's Cartoon Network it was, but they were showing Sonic Boom and Annoying Orange. Oh, those were Cartoon Network shows at the time. Yeah, yeah but no, this was like four uh, or five years ago. Oh, wow. I can't help you there. I'm, I'm trying to remember the... Because you said this in a Let's Play. This I'm is trying when I went to, to my sister's wedding uh, in Jamaica. Mm -mm. Brazil. Cartoon Network That's Brazil. Nice it was, yeah, Cartoon Network Brazil. So it was air, apparently it was airing a bunch of stuff that no longer aired on the North American Cartoon, Cartoon Network. Yeah, Cartoon Network was kind of addicted to Teen Titans Go for a while. Yep. That they were. I'm pretty they sure still they are. still are. You, you know, maybe they're. I don't know. There might be better. Look, no. I'm not gonna say anything bad about like the Teen Titans Go. I've seen plenty of like actual like funny meta humor with that with that show altogether. Even even though it was it started out as this isn't the Teen Titans we wanted. But. They're, I mean, they're a little out of hand it. when they kind of have an entire day of just Teen Titans Go reruns. Yeah. They meet some Amazing World of Gumball reruns. I, just, I literally I remember just looking up the TV programming and just be like, all right, what's on Cartoon Network? Literally, it was from like 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. It was Teen Titans Go. A literal six hour block during the entire day. Oh, that, that's short. Five days a week. Had a fan of the network. Actually, funny that, enough, that, back in the. Sorry, you first. It, I mean, that's not including like those days to where they literally just did. Teen Titans Go. Oh yeah, they would do marathons no, I, of that show a fair amount. Like anytime we would go to a trip. Um, oh yeah. In the states, we would watch Cartoon Network on the hotel because you know access to it, and it was almost always Teen Titans Go. Yeah, there was like a. 
I think it was New York Comic Con, because I didn't have cable at that point, and this was like 2019, I think. And uh, I guess they were showing off like a new yeah. Night Begins yeah. to Shine episode, and so they decided, let's just play the entire show leading up to this point, and we're just going to do that all day. How do, how do you guys feel about that? I'm just going to say this. Yes, Maniacal, I am very aware of the GIF. I'm all, they, they knew what they were doing. Oh, you're talking about raven legs? I don't even have to look. What? <laughs> yep. Yeah, okay. I didn't even have to look and I saw it. Yeah. What? What the fuck? <laughs> hey, I've never like seen me. this. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Do I, do I show it? I don't know, man. I guess it's not bad. It was on for a kid's show, but like, it's very... It literally got on television. It is available. This is, this is not subtle. This is not subtle. <laughs> just Cyborg beating that meat. He's just going at it. Like, like an animal. Cyborg Furiously. counting that meat. Yeah. Oh, hey, Rubber Ducky. I think there was another one where... Starfire ended up got wearing some kind of outfit and it was way too tight and then Robin just going out drooling absolutely like a madman. Yeah. Well, and I think there's like another episode or it's the same one with Raven Legs that like everyone gets really uh Lady Legacies. Legs. Yeah. L sorry, what Lady Legacies? Uh-huh. Yes. Uh -huh. You've been spared from that having to, like witness the show when it was John, happening. John, you said you watched the marathons. <laughs> My mistake, apparently. Yeah, come on, man. <laughs> yeah, literally, like, season one, they're all just talking about waffles, and then season four, they're just... It's all fan service, apparently. So one of my one of my old, like, YouTube friends, back when I used to, like, do stuff with Polaris, he wrote on that show at some point. Oh, really? really? Yeah, but he oh. wrote on it, like in the crazier seasons he's like yeah i know and he's like yeah i know teen titans go has his reputation but we're like we're trying some actual shit now and so like from what i had heard most of the seasons he wrote on was were pretty well liked and well received oh yeah the teen titan movie is so good oh yeah when robin killed batman's parents yeah, when robin kills batman <laughs> and then gives everyone a thumbs up and just poor child bruce just looking in horror yeah Oh man! I I also like the Stan Lee joke in the in the movie. That one's pretty good. Oh yeah, the, the movie's the one that had uh, Weird Al as Darkseid, right? Or as Darkseid? I think so. Yeah, I think he was actually Darkseid. Yeah, because they got Will Arnett to be um, Deathstroke. Slade. Yeah. Who is Slade? Who is who is Slade? Dark Side Weird Al was a normal episode. Yeah, that sounds about right. Was that okay. just a normal, normal episode? I thought episode. it was the movie. Maybe he showed up in the movie. I don't know. I mean, there are two movies. I'm also now just remembering the time when Tanami was first starting out. They actually aired uh, the first season of, like, Tenchi Muyo. Yeah. They they basically was also showed all of them. heavily censored. I really I think, don't know what Toonami was thinking at the time. <laughs> I think they were just grabbing anime, whatever they could. Yeah. Uh, from what I've heard, it's the same thing that kept happening with uh, four kids with One Piece, where they just kind of had to buy other animes to get the rights. Oh, you know, there was, oh. um, Fox had the same issue because they basically were like, what's this show? It's about a uh, female protagonist and robots. It's called Escaflone. This should be fine. Oh, Ask right, was so Escaflone. good, though! It was so good, but it was not for kids. Yeah. It does not go after Digimon Digital Monsters. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. So the reason four kids got One Piece was because they were actually just wanting Shaman King? Yep. Wow. I mean, they, they got Shaman King. They, yeah, they did, did a lot Shaman of King, that But stuff. it was like... But I remember a lot of, like, the four kids One Piece. And a lot of that was, like, a lot of odd pacing. Well, because that was a very, very mature series. Yeah, there was a lot of edits in the Escaflone Fox Kids version. 
Yeah, we didn't even get the entire first episode, from what I remember. Really? I think one of the biggest complaints I remember about the, the English dub of Escaflone was, like, literally, they skip episode one. Yeah, you don't need it. Because I think, I think like, the first episode is, is makes her the main character, and then, like, apparently they wanted to make Vaughn the main character. It's the same thing that happened with card captors. Oh, yeah. Oh. They didn't want the, the guy to be a major focus, so they framed it so that Sakura did literally everything, from what I remember. It's something like that. I mean, I just remember the dub intro is is a banger. I also remember in One Piece, they completely cut cut out the uh, an entire story arc. Oh, sorry, other way around. You're right. They didn't want to make her the main character, so they made it seem like he did a lot more. That's what it was. Thank you, chat. <laughs> Kids WB would never allow <laughs> email protagonist. <laughs> 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 what do you mean she's the main protagonist? Shit. You're fired. Oh, God. oh who who remembers this? The uh, Mummy animated series. Yeah. Oh, Dude, yeah, anything? based off the, the movies? Yeah. yeah. I, or I at the very least, it was kind of like after the second movie. Oh, yeah, because yeah, they, like, they had a kid and everything. Yeah. Yeah. You're bringing back repressed childhood memories. Please you're stop. welcome. <laughs> I mean, I heard it was... I mean, it was around oh, the same time. Oh, you want repressed time... childhood? You want repressed childhood memories? During the bumpers, they had a bunch of the different characters doing the belching contest. Yeah. And I think they had the the mummy from the Mummy Show, and Yugi from Yu-Gi-Oh have a belching contest. Oh fuck! Yeah. Oh, fuck! Oh fuck! 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 No! I've been. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, I've been talking to like no. a lot of friends about this lately because I've been watching a lot of Kids WB. Memorabilia, I guess. Um, memorabilia. <laughs> like, Kids WB between the years of 1998 and like 2004 was just constant shit posting. Like, that was all. Of, they used Pokemon to promote Seventh Heaven. I will never get over this. <laughs> if anybody knows kind of what Seventh Heaven is about, it is a Christian based family sitcom being promoted by a game that many white parents at the time. Consider devil worship. Ooh. So it's just, it's a good time. I mean, there's also the irony with the whole thing with Seven Heaven, though, that, like, they praised it for being, like, the religious show, but the, uh, one of the main cast leads, if I remember correctly, ended up being a pedophile. Uh, I can't win them all. Where I the don't fuck did that, that mind come from? The, the national anthem, I think it was when four kids took over Fox, so... Yes. They they definitely, like... <laughs> they carried the torch that WB, like, started running with. Yeah, yeah, I'm originally. just remembering some of the really dumb ads that... What was it? The Silver Surfer and uh, King of the Hill? Oh, that's such a classic. That's a classic. Oh, though. <laughs> yeah. Or, or the one that's uh, resurfaced uh, recently, the uh, Yugi ordering a burger. Yeah, that one was good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, oh, uh, Fox Box. There was also the the ad where Pinky sends, or no, the brain sends what? Pinky out to fight Ash's Charizard. Imagine having that much power to like do that kind of editing, but actually have the voice actors at your disposal. Yes. Such power. Such power. And that Too was WB power. in 1998. Imagine if they had that power during, like, Sonic Boom. <laughs> really do not know what I'm supposed to do here. Like, I can't find anywhere to go to put Gooigi because there's no solid ground. Oh, was Ultimate he automatically Muscle. pulled off? or? Hmm? Was Gooigi was automatically pulled back when yeah. she moved on to this point? Okay. I think I remember how to do this. I can't move left or right. Because I thought I had to, like, get onto this, like, elevator over here. Because to me, that made the most sense. But I literally can't move over there. Or, oh, actually, From it's, it's trying to let me now, but it's moving me back.
Like, this won't kill me if I let this, the spikes hit this, right? Gonna do some damage. I think it resets you back to when the door closed. Oh. Well, let's find out. <laughs> oh, just before it. Okay, good. yeah, literally just before it. Okay, good, because I was trying to get access to this thing here. Just the, the camera just zooming in Whoa. on like, Bull! Bull! Where did you record this? Uh. End up with Gooigi. Oh, well, I think I know what you did. Different. Oh, he's on. The oh, he's side. all the way over there. Yeah. So what happened was, I think actually, I might have actually called him back, and that's what. Okay, I was. Was about to say because I thought the whole point was that he's supposed to move around to help make sure Luigi doesn't yeah. get killed. So, so I, I think, I guess I summoned back the uh, Guigi, uh, but that put it in a no-win state. Yeah. Interesting that they would give you that option. <laughs> the Hi, belt Dan. is just looking at you like, well, look. I didn't think he'd do it. He wants to play his way. No, you're not done. There's so much stuff there we need to get. Uh, <laughs> fuck everything. Okay, I guess we have no choice. All right, fine. fine. You can so come back. Fucking... Yeah, I was about to say, do you want me to tell you that you can't come back to this. Well, I know I, I know I come back. It'd be stupid if that was missable, but... Still dumb that it's there. I get it. Alright. Oh, uh, uh, by that I mean, uh, it is totally missable. What are you talking about? Ha ha ha, you've missed Anyways, it. Anyways, Dan's <laughs> raining, so let's run counter measures for Dan. Well, I guess I'll just can pause here. Can we talk about this later? What? I was like, can we talk about this later? Okay. <laughs> Dan the Enigma, thank you for the raid, buddy. Hopefully your subathon's going good, dude. I saw you clock. You had to do a hundred hours or something like that. I think you overestimated what you needed to do. From what I have been seeing, anyways. Either way, hundred hours of uh, streaming. Yes, something like that. Like I think he was like because it's a subathon, so it was something like every X amount of subs adds X amount of time to the stream. Dan, you fool. Nah, I think I got it right. I've got five whole ass RPGs to finish. Oh, he's going to beat every Mega Man Battle Network. That's what he's currently doing, too. So, yeah, that would be enough time. That would be enough time. Maybe. Like, both versions of 3 and 4 and 5? I, I assume not that, both versions of 3, 4, and 5. I feel like that's asking for trouble. I there was two it's not enough time. Wait, what the fuck? Why did... What? Why did you warp here? Uh, I, I just saw him walk into it as soon as you unpaused. 
No, he's doing a bid war for the virgins. Ah, uh, okay. Shit, now you're remind- I think- I know there's one of the battle networks that got to the DS. That was uh, five. It was five, yeah. Team Protoman and Team Colonel. 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 <clears throat> I love it when anyone says Colonel, they just default to Metal Gear. Metal Gear? Colonel. Metal Gear. Gear makes Crap battle. Metal. <laughs> Colonel, I'm Gear in the sub basement. Metal. There's too much water, and I can't swim. One had a DS port in Japan, only that was a Star Force crossover. Oh yeah, the Star Force crossover. We talked about that before too. Yeah. I keep forgetting about Mega Man Star Force. Yeah, Capcom does too. <laughs> Capcom forgets well, I mean, many things. Let's be real. <laughs> Capcom does forget many things, but what I've also now just remembered, I did watch the NT Warrior show a lot too. Oh, ah yeah. yes, on Four Kids TV, no less. But the the question is, will someone buy Capcom? Because it seems like everyone's just buying every single company now at this I mean, point. Well, I think there was, all, I think there was talks Konami for like yet, forever. So. <laughs> There's but always That was a like number. the talk forever was that somebody was planning, was going to buy Capcom and Capcom was trying to sell itself, but... I, I do remember it, for a while Capcom was trying to sell itself, yeah. But it, it never turned into anything. That one took the bait. Nope. And I also remember Capcom for a while... Was never people, very good at selling itself. Mm -hmm. And then I think they just had a bunch of hits in a row too, which also kind of negated things. You can't use your plunger yeah. here. Oh my god. Nope. What's that plan? Guys, we yeah, don't I have think to sell anymore. In... We didn't make Dark Zero. Or was it Dark Void? Was the name? Uh, Dark yeah, because you're thinking Dark Void Zero. Which I am was thinking of Dark Void Zero. That I think Inti Creates did. That people and said was actually, actually good. good. Yeah. Why did the music? Stop. <laughs> you took was it long. supposed to play like a jingle and then it just like just was a ended abruptly? <laughs> it just went burp. <laughs> the the music has just left. It's just it's just done. Taking too long. <laughs> we were sick shit. of doing banjos. <laughs> I'm gonna be sick of banjos. The game is not me. I never am. Song. Oh, I just got uh -huh. the game. I have I have the laugh with the. Uh, oh sh 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 sh. I had the laugh with the uh, the bagpipe music earlier because the first thing that came to mind was a a group one of my friends introduced me to a long time ago. Uh, I think they were called the Kilted Generation. It's literally just heavy metal bagpipes. Ooh, <laughs> nice. That rules. I forget if that was the name of the album or the name of the group. But yeah, like, I was just like, I had immediate, like, vibes of that. Hey. Ah, go sharks. As you do. Oh, those are very sharp fins! Yes. Wait, is... Good news, we got music back. Yeah, the music returned. Hey, Calculon's back. And, it only <laughs> and the only sacrifice we had to take was 10 health. Hail yeah. science. So that's what my life would have been like if I made the thing longer. <laughs> Guilty Generation is the name of a band, but it okay. is also the name of a Red Hot Chili Pipers. No, oh, Red Hot Chili album. Pipers are also good. Yeah. Amazing. Really had to read that. I was like, there's no way. Yep, the Red Hot Chili Pipers. Yeah. Am I using the soccer ball to fight, or am I just avoiding them? You want, is that an actual question? No. He was the land <laughs> ah! There was a ghost there. No, I got I hit a, a tire. Oh, I just saw a ghost pop out. Yeah, that's the ghost of the sharks. 
Got so it, what happens is I hit this damn tire and it threw me right into him. Mm hmm. <laughs> Which sounds really crazy when you think about it. Yeah, I mean, that's just Luigi's life. It's really <laughs> crazy. Ah, yes, yes. The tire threw you into it. Okay, okay. Mm. Writes notes. <laughs> so, what do you think the tire Rumbled represents? individual. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think the tire is in your life? You think what? the tire is really yeah. your father? What does a tire mean to you? As someone who's only driven carts <laughs> and never seen a tire that big, what could a big tire mean to you? Do you think the tire is repressed, unresolved issues with your parents? Do you even remember your parents, Luigi? That one game they were in? <laughs> For two seconds? Oh, that actually killed them. Nice. Either oh, kill them or send them spot. very far away. <laughs> Both are acceptable options, I feel, at this point. You think the three sharks represented your three cousins? <laughs> Do you like my cousin, you Penny, about? Luigi? <laughs> Do you like movies? Do you like jazz? I'm just shaking my head. Luigi, have you ever been to a Turkish prison? <laughs> <laughs> Man, uh, that got dark. Oh, <laughs> yeah, do you like gladiator movies? Did not expect the airplane reference just then and there. Nice touch. Uh, you know, I live to serve. Fair enough. Well, those spikes are higher up, at least, so I can probably hug the wall and be fine. Don't know where that mine was, but I'll trust that it was not a big deal. <laughs> Don't eat the fish. Look the fish. No, I guess I actually do need Luigi here. Do oh, okay, never mind. Luigi. I was about to say, do you? Yeah, I need both changed. Oh. Get out. There we go. You've ever seen a grown man naked? Ever seen a grown man naked? No. Oh. Oh, oh, that's the problem. It's wet. You ruined your nice shoes, Luigi. See, you set it to on. Oh. See, that's your problem right there. <laughs> See, you're not supposed to have water over here. That ghost I has could no neck. It for you, but uh, it's gonna cost you. Damn it. Tiny chunky boy. No, get that I chonker. did not even intend to get you. That works. Yeah. And he's too far off screen. Right, come on, come on. Ooh, thought he got away. Let's see where this puts me. Probably up there. Yep. You gotta love that Nickelodeon gack noise. Would you rather him be crunchy? Would you like, like rather hear him just go, like at, when he comes out of the pipes? Like, <laughs> well, that's just ASMR. I'd rather just hear like screaming of an undead of a being that should not exist. Yeah. I need to hear the pain <laughs> scream of Luigi because his every day in his life is a day of painful existence. <laughs> Come on, Goo is going the pipe. Dear God, help me! 
Why do I feel pain? Why was I born? Why do I live like this? Why? It Come on, hurts. Guichi. Just help us out of the water and then you can become a real boy. <laughs> you say that every time. <laughs> and then it's back in the backpack. In the life of poor Guiji. <laughs> Terrible. I want him to be Why punching. Do? Just to suffer. Yes. Get off my land. <laughs> Yay. Yay. I flushed hey, the toilet. Cool. Hooray. Uh. Finally. Why does this sewer system exist in a hotel? Good job, non-sentient being. Is that the only time he's actively congratulated the goo? This is when the goo finally becomes, uh, aware. They're, they're best friends now. They've yeah. gone through so much goo. together. Like, who did good? The sewers. You did good. You did real good. <laughs> Sugar. And now, you're, in and now you're the gold standard. It's a stretch every oh, time. Oh, you just remind me. I need. You said sugar and water. Now I need more Kool Aid. Mm. <laughs> enjoy your Kool Aid. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I got permission. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that broke a lot. <laughs> yeah, whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Wait, what did I pop? What? Oh, there we go. Couldn't figure what I popped it on. This gear, apparently. <laughs> I want a candelabra. There you go. Where'd you see Dang, a gold bars and stuff. I thought that was the thing in the picture. Oh, it was just a pile just... of money. <laughs> it's not as not as interesting, oh. I know, but ah, damn it, gold bars again, uh, again. <laughs> I've only got oh, fifty thousand of them. Um, he just like shoves them into Guiji. Fifty thousand three hundred and seven, to be precise. Right. Oops, no, I'm sorry. Guiji to do this. Uh, you know, actually, that's a uh, that's a legitimate question. Where is all the money? Wait, what water was there that got him? A small puddle. Puddles. He saw his reflection and shuddered. <laughs> Once again, the existential crisis he was having <laughs> came. There is no. Uh, <laughs> is this? I guess that is a tiny puddle of water. Never mind. See, I see a treasure chest back there. I'm just trying to figure out how the fuck to get it. Apparently, I can't walk through that. That's water. Ah, oh, yes, of course, of course. We were so blind. Don't forget your abilities. I tried the plunger already. Plunger didn't work. You pull it, and you pull plunger. No, I can't. I can't use plunger on it. Oh, okay. Oh, right, because it has to actually stick to it. Yeah, it's not blacklight. Let's yeah, see. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm figuring out how video games work. Later for that. Okay. Yeah. I right. thought you just picked up something and smacked it into it. But I could be wrong. I tried the soccer ball. It didn't work, and that was the only thing uh, I pick up. The balloon! No! Pennywise! Wow. Oh, of course, okay. Do you want to float, Luigi? Okay. <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> Luigi, Luigi seems the kind of person who'd just be like, yeah, alright, let's go. <laughs> I mean, he did just okay. accept that he won a mansion and just kind of rolled with it. 
Okay, please end the pain. Okay, I'm done. Oh. <laughs> Alright, a little too heavy to just do that with. Am I really just going back through all of this? It looks like I am. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's picking up now, boys. You get revenge on those sharks now. Well, possibly. No. Can I really not do anything with them? I was about to say, I swear, if you game over right now, the sharks win. Oh, oh is it a timing jump. thing? I thought I saw a little shine spark. Yeah. Well, usually, yeah. yeah. Usually there's something you can do. Like that. That's what I wasn't doing. I'm like, wait, right. I, I must be forgetting something. Like, and I forgot. Yeah. That the, the goggles have two ways of getting rid of them depending on wh what fight you're doing. Okay. One is you have to flash them, then use the vacuum, which is what the game started with. And then yeah. today, it's been boost near them. And just do a little toot. Or, you know, just smack another ghost into him. Yeah, just... <laughs> so good. I think Luigi's just had enough. He's so, he's so done that he wants to beat up one motherfucker with another motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just now imagining that image of just Luigi about to slam the ghost into the other ghost. I mean, it's literally just throwing your enemies and turtles in time. Pretty much, except you can still see the screen. So, you know, can't all be winners. <laughs> I'm happy I have fruit snacks, Kool-Aid, and I'm in a blanket cocoon. Nothing can stop me. John, stop him. <laughs> Chat, stop him. I am an adult. I see Tell no way to stop him. Somebody stop him, please. Too powerful. I need it. You're just Swallow jealous that. because you're not in the blanket cocoon. <laughs> <laughs> you're just jealous, Otacon, because you're not in the blanket cocoon. No, but I got I got puppy. I got my own doggy to pet and scratch. <sighs> I do miss yeah, Charlie though. Oh, casual submarine. Yeah. You don't have one underneath your hotel? No. Maybe I, maybe I haven't checked. Oh, burn myself to death. And through the submarine Wait itself. Okay, cool. Wait a minute. If there's a submarine under here, that means the hotel is built, like, very like close water? to, like, a, like, an underwater lake. There are fish here. I think that's just called a reservoir. Is there a sturdy foundation to this hotel? Is that what we're trying to figure out? Uh, nice, it could probably. be a gym. Yeah, ignore the fact that we're on the 10th floor, by the way. That's a good point. No, no, sorry, this is the sub-basement. This is actually the basement. Yeah, this no. Is basement two. Yeah, this is a sub-basement. This is the basement to the basement. I am questioning the structural integrity of this building, yes. Ah uh, yes. The did you not know that there's a time limit mechanic? If you don't get out of here within 34 years, <laughs> the game is over. <laughs> Dead Rising took get some, a slight crack a in your liberties. foundation. Oh, why does this one have the long rope suddenly? All right. John, you're you're asking too many questions, and you're making the game uncomfortable. I'm sorry. These are questions I feel need to be asked. Oh, you're a question asker, are you? Yeah, I hate to tell you that. <laughs> it's true. We don't we don't like question askers around here. One day I woke up and said why, why? Not? and then society was like, We need to stop him. Just like that. He's become too powerful. <laughs> we don't take kindly to your folk. <laughs> we don't take kindly to question askers around here. A lot of question askers around here. You like to ask questions, do you? Asking questions around here. Get your hurt. 
You don't like to ask a lot of questions around here. Why is Christopher Walken talking about questions? You like to ask so many questions, but do you have any answers? Asking too many questions. Okay, yeah, random bottle. We get it, we get it. This is really proud of itself. Yeah. Time for crab! Not the crab crusty battle. crab! Yes, the crusty crab. Is that a boot? Yep. Two boots. Some soccer balls. Should I have to use knock that free with that? See, that would have made sense to me, but I guess not. Well, I... I actually think you missed it. No, he didn't. Usually you have to do something specific for these gems. There you go. Yeah, I know that. Uh, yeah, okay, never mind. Uh oh! It's a mimic! <laughs> Glad to know this is an RPG as well. Here, I'm so strong! Oh god. Here, have a soccer ball. Oh god, oh god! Right idea, wrong execution! Oh, uh oh. There you go. Yeah, straight into his mouth. Unless that's the wrong thing, then definitely not straight into his mouth. I think it was, in fact, the wrong thing. Yeah, send the goop. Now you're thinking. Uh, I actually don't remember how you're supposed to hurt him. Surprised, I'm surprised he's, there's one thing he hasn't done yet. Remembering his tools? Oh, you're right. Yeah, never mind. It's, it's pink. You're right. Ow. 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 Ugh. Ugh. Ow. Oh, wait, shit, I was forgetting to do the one job that I promised. John, remember your tools! I don't know what it is. It's always one <laughs> move I forget every time, and it's a different move every time. I don't know why. Remember Hilarious. that time John forgot his tools? Which one? Uh, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Legit, I don't know why that keeps happening. It just keeps happening with this game, and I don't know why. I'm starting to I mean, question every game that I pick now for game clearing for you. <laughs> am I the problem? Oh yeah, wasn't it? Weren't you also the one that picked Rayman too? Yeah. Yes. John am can I only learn villain? four moves. John is a Pokemon. Yeah. Is that going to be hey. the raid message? Remember your tools? No, that's what it was last week. Hey, you're having better luck getting your games played. I just wanted to Which is true. Man. I mean, what, when was Rayman 2? That wasn't too long ago. That was like, like last October, year. October, November. Wait, which one was it? Which version? So what you're saying is that uh, this game's mechanics are akin kind to of Grandpa Steven's time with Breath of the Wild? I mean, I feel like, for the most part, I haven't been as painful as, as that was at times. I hope not, anyways. Oh, oh God. Was it that bad? I never what saw that. What happened to Grandpa Steven? Um, Breath of the Wild Dungeons really stumped him, but he's been doing... Ba he did basically the same thing I've been doing, where he's just, like, wouldn't think of one of his basic toolkit moves. Mm -mm -mm. I think four... I think four moves... Only knowing four moves at once, though, has been really funny that that's exactly how it's worked out, because I think that's basically what it is. I always forget one of them. <laughs> Back to the move, relearner for you. you gotta yeah, yeah. reteach you blacklight. Do, 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 do. Thank God none of these are HMs. Gooigi is the HM. <laughs> he can't even surf. He's strength, don't worry. <laughs> Got that goo boy strength. Uh, how did you do the... Uh, I know what you have to do. I'm trying to remember how you do it, though. How do we solve a problem like Gooigi? Water. <laughs> yeah, fire. <Lots> of... <laughs> oh, yeah, lots of fire. 
Remember those aliens from Signs? That. No. Oh, God. You having oh, fun there licking works. your paws? What's the deal with Gooigi? Get down, oh. Luigi. Is he made of goo or is he made of Luigi? Oh, apparently Gooigi gets the credit for this one. No, he doesn't. <laughs> Luigi refused to give credit. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you suck, Gooigi. <laughs> Luigi's like, this is my one time to shine. This is my game. Get out of here, fake me. Yeah, he's Gooigi's just like, oh god, what do I do? It's right there. This is my Luigi, chance. But Luigi, I'm right there on the cover with you. This is my time to be a goo boy. Just a goo boy. Uh, all right. So we have not found the ghost on this stage yet, right? Nope. Can't yeah. find him yet. No, I, I mean the the crystal gem ghost. Oh. I thought you did. I I don't remember. That's why I'm asking. No, he he just fought like a bunch of money ghosts. Yeah. Let me. Which gems are you missing? Just the clear just the white one. one. Just the white one. Yep. And if it's the one I think it is, does Gooigi? Have I assume that's what's behind that wall I couldn't destroy, or in that chest I couldn't reach. I assume it's one of the two. Uh, yeah, you haven't even. Yeah, it's. There's still more, of course, to the floor. I love that he just says that for climbing a ladder. <laughs> he really hey, does he not think highly of he himself. Has, he has to give him a pat on the back every now and again. Nobody else will. That's a good point. His own hype, man. Every time, every morning, he looks at himself in the mirror. And open I'm palm smart enough. It to VHS. I'm so. strong. <laughs> it's the same one every time. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine Luigi doing all the moves from Chronicles of Riddick? <laughs> <laughs> it makes the apartment feel less lonely. <laughs> Nucky, you betrayed me again. Why did my wife leave me? Because she was a princess, Luigi, she had to go back to work. <laughs> now, if you want a squirrel you cut, understand, cut up right, you best do it yourself. Oh, that boy ain't right. It's a rubber ducky fight. Oh. Duck fight. But his is not a duck. It's a swain. Oh, oh, this oh, is oh. the only. This was like I think the first boss. I have that to. Made me <laughs> AI I have to oh, it. I have another one. I yeah. just have another one. Yeah. I also forgot this is the thing. <laughs> I just like how he just blows it up, and even Clem's just kind of like, "Oh, you have another one. Great." Did you get that? You know what? We're in a sewer. I get it. Yeah, Tokyo Drift. Oh, you can jump an aisle like he was fucking farting in the pool? Okay. <laughs> Technically, they frown on that, too. <laughs> <laughs> Technically. Look, the sign says that there is no P. I literally- anymore. I am trying to move into this bomb to activate it. I literally cannot. I keep going around it. Oh shit. <laughs> the bomb's just in there going, I don't know. Nice, I landed right next to another bomb and it wasn't allowed to move because I had to inflate the fucking rubber ducky. Ah, uh, okay, move. Oh, nope, never mind. Ah. Uh, uh, well. I'm gonna go. It's gonna be a Silver the Hedgehog situation. I'm gonna go over here. Oh, you have to touch it. It has to be your best friend. Well, good news this is, is a heart there. Bad news is that is exactly where he went. 
Oh, you blew it away. Are That's you serious? Oh, probably shit, I didn't not even what you that. wanted to do. I didn't even notice I did that. I thought I picked it up. Okay, what? Um, what? John, not what the hell what did I you do that now? To do? I assume this is actually part of the fight, right? Getting him up here? No. <laughs> Wait, what? No. No. no that's not. not part of the fight? No. Nope. All right, well, you can just fucking stay there, Clem. I'm going to go get some health while I can. Like, this is what he normally does if you're up there and he's still in the water. Seriously, this isn't supposed to happen? No, it's no. not, John. You <laughs> somehow again, pulled them out. You do, do best, break shit. I thought this was what I was supposed to do. <laughs> it no, gave it me wasn't. a button prompt and everything. Uh. It's the John quote. I thought this was normal. Well, the good news is I'm getting all my health. Well, some of my health back. Oh, he only had a dollar. So, uh, how do I fix this? Try to go back in the water. Oh, yeah. You have to go back to the water. Reset? I hope I don't have the reset. Come on in. Water's fine. Oh. <laughs> it gave oh, me credit what? for de deflating him. Where, where'd he go? What? Where'd he go? There he is. Oh. Got him. <laughs> Okay. It's sure. Okay. Whatever. Why not? Let's fucking roll with it, I guess. <laughs> oh shit! I could have caught him again when he was still on the ground. Damn it! I have not. I had never seen that before till now. You're welcome. And video games are are bad and dumb. That's what I learned today. How do you keep doing I, this? Just... Fuck if I know! Those beta tests are right in my Twitter bio. Yeah, so it's the best beta test you never paid for. That's right. Take notes, Nintendo. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna see if push you can push him into the spike. Ah, there you go. Okay. So that's and what you're actually you're supposed to do! <laughs> yeah, so I what happened was I grabbed him right next to the ladder and it let me climb. That is what happened. Yeah. It's, and by... And you just dragged him up with by your sweet embrace. Yeah. The greatest love story never told. It's Clam and Luigi. <laughs> Puppet pal, Clam. You would make millions as a QA tester. That's funny, because no QA tester makes that. And I was about to say, usually no. they show them this glitch, and then Nintendo goes, eh, nah, that's fine, it's gold. Shut up. And then when people like Here's you find this on screen, they turn to the QA tester, also you, and go, how did you not tell us about this? What do I even pay you for? You don't, sir. You don't pass. <laughs> not enough, sir. sir. I allow you to live for. <laughs> I give you pizza every night we do overtime, which is also every night. <laughs> <laughs> so ungrateful. That hits a little too close to home. This uh, is getting a little too real right now. Yeah, but we're a family here, so. Hey, buddy. please don't remind we're me of my previous work. Buddies. This is the work I have now. Fuck. <laughs> Yeah, I was about to say, you can't miss that one. Well, the problem is I might actually not get there in time to get him. Yep, he's already getting up. Yeah, actually. I think he still run. takes a minute to actually blow his thing up. Run, Luigi! That sucks. Oh. That sucks. I was worried about that. So I can't say I'm shocked. Oh god, no, 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 no. Yeah, 
now. Whoa. <laughs> Where did he get the naval mines? Hotel budget. That's in I wonder there. how much the budget's allowed for those. That's why we charge you for breakfast. It all makes sense now. Uh, not complimentary. Oh, fuck. Goes into down. our naval defense budget. If we didn't have it, Clem would <laughs> just keep arguing. He would turn off the water. Ah, yes. The hotel uh, naval defense budget. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Ah, oh, crap. He stunned himself. So is the trick to beating this No, I missed it! Letting him... Don't worry, the other mine will get him. Yeah. Maybe that's the actual trick to this boss fight. Just let him do himself in. That's probably a good spot. Should be. There we go. Nah, this should be over. Oof, there and we go. Clint, and now, Clem, you're waterlogged. Decky, 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 decky. Don't shoot it into the water, Luigi, you idiot. That needs to go in electronics. Aww. <laughs> It'll be fine. He just it's realized. A, yeah. It's a ghost light. I, I'm glad all those hearts are there, but I... Uh... Oh, I guess I can't get them in time. Never mind. I would like to set the switch to no water, please. Yeah, if you flip it down, then the water will be less jaggy. Can it's someone less. take you to the move relearner to relearn that you could have just left Guiji up there to suck him? Uh, I could have done that, but the camera angle already sucked as it was, so I didn't want to deal with that. So that wasn't the move relearner. That was me just not wanting to do that. Plus, you would have had to go all the way back to Fuchsia City, and it just it didn't seem like a good idea. Plus, I was barely controlling where I was moving in the water anyway, so I, knowing my luck, Luigi would have just flown his fucking corpse into the spikes while I'm using Luigi. <laughs> Classic Luigi. Classic Luigi oh, killing Luigi. himself in his sleep. That's Luigi. Yeah, no, it just didn't seem like a good idea, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> so can we talk about that glitch? I mean... <laughs> hey, so can Look, we, like we already talked about it. It was only May Mitchin. Let's move on. Gotcha! I do like this song. Nice victory fanfare. I don't remember if this is used in one. I just know it's used in two. No, it's not used in one. <laughs> no, because I think this was the... Um, yeah, I think Next Level specifically put this song in there. Yeah, I was about to say this isn't in one. And I don't even think Next Level did one. Nope. No, they didn't. It was the in-house Nintendo that did one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. No, just furiously open that refrigerator. Will it let me? Well, I actually will. No, it won't. <laughs> you could just, like, use your hands. I assume I cannot lift the fridge, then, in this case. <laughs> Based on the way this is going, I'm gonna assume that's the case. I don't know why you say that. You but usually, like, soon. usually the plunger sticks to things you can flip, so that's why I'm surprised. Well, let's try both on the actual body of this, or is this gonna be another situation where it freaks out again? There's only one way to find out. Yeah, it just, just won't let me do it. I cannot kill the fridge. 
Well, yeah, it has milks and eggs in it. Have you played Luigi Mansion 3DS and do you think it's better than the GameCube version? I have not. I've heard mixed get, things about it. I liked it, but I get wicked hand cramps playing the 3DS version. Uh, it just sounds like playing the 3DS. Yeah, I was going to say, my main problem is I just don't feel like replaying a bunch of games I've beaten over again when I have so many other games I haven't beaten. <laughs> How this do I get out of here? Um, do you want to actually came in through that? the bottom. Press the home button. Did I come? Oh, you're right. Sorry, my mistake. Oh, I guess jumping into the spikes <laughs> is not the smart thing to do. But yes, I'm also having edges. that. Oh, I can't even. Won't even let me do that. <laughs> Damn it. I tried. Trust me, I did. <laughs> do a flip. Do a sick flip, Luigi. Make sure oh, it's a back flip. That was a pretty sick flip. All right. Um, so is the item I need to get that last gem over there now, you think? No. <laughs> Maybe I should ask, is the item over there? <laughs> Once again, no. Two strikes. It's actually not there. Or are people just saying no because it's my luck. Oh, no, no, I can not, confirm. Not you there. actually. Yeah, you actually cannot get this yet. Jesus. All right. Uh, uh, fine. I'll go to the damn elevator. Time. I think now's a good time for me to hop out. That's fair. We're going to go to break here. <laughs> I want to get back to the elevator, too. So. All right. Well, thanks for having me on. It was nice talking with all y'all in chat. Welcome to hang out. Well, I mean, we're going to be hanging out on Thursday anyways, because we're playing Mario Kart over on your channel. Yes, we are. Oh, yeah. I still, still got to go Mario download the, the trial pack. The new tracks are pretty decent. Yeah. I've heard nothing but good things. All right. Well, I mean, I actually, like, I had an own Mario Kart 8 Deluxe yet, and then I hear that, the oh, booster yeah. pack course, uh -huh. courses, and I'm just like, yeah, let me just wait for the next sale. I'll go ahead and go grab it. A Mario Kart game? On sale? Yeah, yeah usually Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC? usually tends to hit. In this economy? I actually, I, usually I don't expect a lot of Nintendo games to go on sale, so that's all I'm saying. I'm at, like, if it does, then I'm actually kind of shocked that it happened. Oh yeah, it tends to drop down to like 40 bucks every now and again. Okay. Oh, right, like the physical copy and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should probably go to break before you do any more. Right, well, I'm going to floor nine to get the boo later, but yeah, I'm just I'm pausing here. Before you lose your mind. Yeah, that'll probably that happened a long time ago. Let's be real. That's what's to say he he's about to lose his mind. It's yeah. not lost. I have it. Why do you have it? Why don't you? <laughs> we all have a piece of John's brain, and that's why he can only remember four moves. Ah, that's why! Now it all makes sense now! <laughs> yeah, I have move number five. Andreas, number six. I'm not giving it back. I have 13. See, and this is why I did yeah. so much better in Luigi's Mansion 2, because there was only four moves in Luigi's Mansion 2. <laughs> so, adding that fifth <laughs> one just threw off the balance completely for me. Oh, it just ruined everything. Yeah, this is awful. Captain Did Joe, all... Hex Universe, Official Luger, thank you for the gift sub bombs. Stuff of Sunny for 62, Hero Chaos Chat for 77, Sonya Cupcake for 36, JT Average for 13, Feral Bites for 10, Cardian Joker for 98, Wave Lightning 777 for 7, nice. Viper SLM for 3, Neko 2273 for 7, Samantha Natalie for 43, uh, uh, Epperlide for 54. This community is still as strange, hilarious, and confusing as always. Perfect, excellent. Glad that's a seal of approval there. Neon Cat Ninja for two. SMX Sonic for 51. Emrys Rhymes with Abyss for 11. I heard mention of Sonic Boom and my partner and I just started watching the show. To be honest, it's so self-aware of itself and of its fans. I honestly highly recommend the show. Oh, the show is great. Sonic Boom? Really, really high recommend on that. Don't, Don't play the game now. Sorry, what? Don't play the game now. <laughs> Fair. No, don't want to play any of the games. Don't want to got to 137 for 40. Black Mage 66652 for 15. Doodle Will for 38. And Omega Flygon for 9. Thank you for seven, folks. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. What do we got in the carton? 
Uh, where is the carton? There's the carton. I think we just got the one from Game Fan, or did something else pop in there? Uh, we got just the one from Game Fan, and it's called Proton Walu Cowboys Sale. What? What? Do you know how much money I had to cut off to do this sale? My wife is on me right now. She keeps shouting at me because I keep giving oh. away stuff. I got a pinball table in the back, at least. All right, we're going to go to break. When we come back, we'll continue Luigi's Mansion 3. See you guys in a bit. All right, thanks for having me on. I'm going to hop off. No worries. Good thanks night. for being on, dude. Sorry to cut you off hey. earlier, but I just had to make sure we got the flow going. No, 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 no. You're good. You're good. But, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you later. I'll see Thursday. For sure. I'll that was six my time? Eight yours? Eight, eight mine, yeah, so yeah, six eight yours. Is. Yeah, okay, cool. Oh, I meant to tell you, too. Uh, your package did arrive, by the way. I've got the, the Dragon Ninja stylus on my desk right now. Yes. The what? So, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, so Andrew was sending me a bunch of stuff uh, that we were meant to, like, hand over a couple years ago at, like, a con, because we usually meet up at MAGFest. Yeah. But then con stopped. So, uh... <laughs> So he sent me, like, a package with a couple things. He picked up a game I was missing for Super Nintendo at MAGFest. He meant to send this Ninja Gaiden DS stylus. That was a pre-order bonus. Came if you pre-ordered, yeah. Okay. yeah it's not... So it, I've got it. It's a... cool. It's actually course, really cool. Stop. Uh, and what was it? They sent me a replacement Mirror's Edge bag to replace my old worn-out one. Although it also has the same zipper problem, so ironically... It has the it... same zipper problem. Yeah. I think that's just a problem with that bag in general. And did you get the... Yeah, you did get... You got the Metal Gear Solid Volume 2. Yeah. I think I already have... No, actually, I think I looked to see if I had it and it was gone. But I had it at some point. Yeah, because I thought you had Volume 1, so I was like, I should just give you Volume 2. And that works as well. Because Volume 1's hard to get. See, that's the thing I thought I had. I, you know what? I'm actually going to look right now before you leave. Give me a second. All right. Well, I don't have it, so I can't help you with that. <laughs> <laughs> Now you are cursed with having two copies. Yeah, it happens. Yeah. I mean, I have the document of Metal Gear Solid 2. I don't think that's the same thing. Uh, no. no. Yeah, because the Volume 1 came out as a pre-order bonus for getting three. And so Volume 2 is the pre-order bonus for getting four. Yeah. And because I worked at GameStop at the time, I we didn't get enough pre-order. Like, people didn't pre-order enough, so I just took one. No, I remember I was having like a million of them when mm -hmm. the uh, when that game came out. So I remember a bunch of us just ended up with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was like a lot of expectations that people were going to pre-order. We had, um, actually, we apparently had like 20 of them stolen because they were just sitting behind the counter, but like easy enough to grab. I guess I wasn't working that day, but like we just had a ton of them, and I think twenty copies got stolen one day. Jesus, Jesus. Yeah. It's just you know, five finger discount. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. Take it easy. Good night. Goodbye. Bye. Quick, quick. Let's say nice things about him. He's a really. He's good a dude. great editor. That, that's it. That's all I got. I don't. I, I don't know him that Jesus. well. I guess it's fair. No, Andrew's one of the nicest dudes I met. I. It's funny. Uh, I was thinking about this. Like, I. It will take me a while to trust people, and uh, there was actually. I think when I first met Laughing Boy, that was around the time I was having a hard time trusting people in general. So I was. I. I was. I'll admit, I was a little cold to him at first. But, like, we kept kind of bumping into each other over and over at cons, and we eventually just kind of got to know each other to a point where it just clicked, and now, like, I think he's a super solid dude. So, I'm always happy when I get to hang out with him now. Yeah, you somehow trust me. I mean, you haven't you haven't burned that trust yet. Are you trying to? <laughs> Do you want me to? No. All right, then. I'm confused.
I'll do it if he asks. Why would you want to do it, though? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cause he, just because he said he, you could? Yes. Oh, fine, whatever. Alright, it's question time. Ask Trey questions. I'll be right back. I need to get a drink. Alright. I trust you, Camille? Yes. Is Trey sus? No. Why would I be sus? I'm never sus. What's my blood type? I don't know. Probably something you should figure out. Why do I torture y'all with puns? Because... Blame Shamrock. Because he's supposed to be known as Angie. And yet the fucker decides to go and change my name to Angie. So now that was it's not me. Time. There was no way it was maniacal. I know he, I knew the guy was streaming. Give me a moment. There no because there's a magical thing called the audit log. And guess what? It was maniacal. So you can go have fun yelling at him later. Gonna make a note. If I ever meet my medical person, I am just gonna Homer Simpson him. Hit him with a chair? No. I'm gonna choke him. Oh god. I don't know if we can say that. Can we say that on Twitch? I feel like that's a big no no. <laughs> He's oh, joking, of course. <laughs> no, I'm not. Huh, there we go. He's probably joking. Favorite snack? Uh, a good cheese stick's always nice. Happy Gold birthday, Clockwork Zen. <sighs> Sorry. No, none of that. Uh, you think I can control my yawning? Yes. Yes. No. You should know Do it. by now. Sheriff Caveman says, for the record, this that is my degenerate brother. He had an arrest warrant for many crimes despite being executed by Hokuto Shinken by Deputy Kenshiro. Thank you, Sheriff Caveman. Thank you for your service. Uh, Queen Era says, I want to say with all my heart, I fucking hated Basement 2, the boiler works as level with every fiber of my being. I can see why. That was kind of an annoying stage, but it was, it was all right otherwise. All right, so the, the ducky mechanic boss fight was hit or miss. I know there's like also a mini game that also uses the duckies. I also was a little kind of eh on two. Retro 64 Polygon says, yeah, fuck that floor in particular, but at least the music slaps. I love the track, but man. Queen Era says, one more for the road. Legend of Daniel says, anyone remember Ego Trip, where they time travel and meet all of the future, uh, all of the future Dexters? After the special, they all say goodbye, Dexter, and uh, the old one says to the young adult Dexter, goodbye, Billy. I assume that's, yeah, because Laughing Boy was quoting that at some point, too. That's the movie you guys were talking about. Mm hmm Legend Dale says, mm -hmm. In the movie, apparently Robin tells the kids to ask their parents where babies come from. What? <laughs> I assume this is the Teen Titans Go movie. Slade's Identity says, I remember growing up with Teen Titans, and I always thought Slade was a future but evil Robin, trying to corrupt present Robin to make sure he existed in the future. Yeah, wasn't that actually, like... Isn't there literally a scene in Teen Titans where Robin breaks the mask and then sees his own face? That was more of a, I think, a halluc hallucination. It was a hallucination, yeah. but yeah, I could see believing that as a result. Because I think that was literally the... I don't know if that was the episode or not. Because there was a little a an episode where Slade is actually dead, but he, Robin is still seeing him because he was so obsessed with them. And none of the other members could see him. But he was actually causing actual physical harm to, to Robin. I need Fun. to rewatch that show because it was actually really good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was very good. Even, even the final up, though, it had a very, like, somber final episode. Well, yeah, because it was meant to continue, but 
continue on with the donations. We interrupted. Fun, fun Card Captors Facts says, So funny thing about Card Captors, the dubbing was done BEFORE the cutting. Oh. And as a result, Teletoon only would eventually acquire and run the full dub series in proper order and everything. And I remember seeing it, and they aired the second series dub. That's why it didn't seem like that the few episodes I saw. Because I saw the Teletoon versions. That makes more sense. That's a really weird way to do it. <laughs> that explains why I never saw what people said about, like, Sakura not being the main character. Because the episodes I saw were very much that. Legend of Daniel says, Can confirm, Guiji stays crunchy in milk. I'm glad we have confirmation for that. Let's go to Artblock. Artblock starts the only way it can. It's chat being egad. Chat is egad. That's it. That's the message. The head is still somehow the same size. It's impressive. Thank you, Waluigi. Next up. Kind of disturbing. Princess Skyler. Hi, yes, my partner Keenan, Green-Eyed Demon King, inspired me with the 2000s emo art style and I decided to give a shot at drawing it. My art style's a little too cutesy for it, but I still am happy with this piece. I only have the super tall, like, very, like, slender style. Yeah. Yeah, I see that. I think this might be the first time I drew Rosa with pants, to be honest. Also, only one more piece till I officially upload 69 pieces to the Buru. That's hot. <laughs> I'm heavily aware that Rosa is lacking her booba here, but you know what? Her heart is bigger than her booba, so there. It's okay. You don't have to draw with the big boobs. Just because I like the big boobs doesn't mean everyone else does, too. So don't sweat it. But I would prefer pants more often. <laughs> Thank you, Skylar. See, I like how people think there's an exaggeration of a character, but that literally just looks like me. I'm like 60%, 70% leg. A lot of leg. This checks. One star on the knee, too. Next up, from Sol Rock. So about old Dexter's Lab episodes, there was one that involved a girl with a giant creepy anime eyes who had a crush on Dexter after he returned her bunny doll. According to the wiki oh, fan summary, she threatened to reveal Dexter's Lab to the public unless he becomes her boyfriend. I did my best to draw her and the other creepy anime-eyed boy Dexter and Dee Dee found to be the girl's boyfriend. I was four when that episode aired and those eyes haunted my dreams and apparently was my earliest exposure to anime. Jesus. Yeah, it checks out. I remember this episode. Oh my god. Oh, well, apparently it's you're not terrifying. alone in hating this chat, cause, uh, uh, hating this episode, because chat's uh, commenting on it too, saying this episode I hated it. Oh yeah, that episode. God, I remember that. A bunch of people. Yeah. Apparently you're not alone on that one, Saul. From like do from Mars. Next up from Mika. I decided to take part in buttery short hair Rosa John trend and drew her with a shorter hairdo. I've been wanting to draw this hairstyle for a while, so this was a good opportunity. It looks good on her. Thank you for doing it. Looks nice, Mika. Thank you for the art. Next up. The Rye Derp Rosa John. Yee. Toque crown thing. Luigi blowing up a rubber ducky. John, why am I a tree to you? I'm trying to see what all these messages are. I see boo as a Rosa ghost scares Luigi. Superstar was two days ago, so Kirby. The butt with big egg written on, on the butt. I always know, John. <laughs> I know, Luigi. Eh. Nice. <laughs> Don't worry, they're leggings, not paintings. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> there's, there's Rosa using her tits as bagpipes, or at least make, giving the illusion of that. There's a Scottish Kirby. <laughs> Stop with the banjo. Stepping on that Kirby ball, looking around. Shoulda did bigger. Peter just staring. Rosa looks very upset. I don't even know what that one's supposed to be. But the face looks familiar. Isn't that, that's not from turning red, is it the face? And then we've got uh, a ghost, Waluigi Ghost giving the finger, and then we've got Kirby and Waddle D. Peter Griffiths. <laughs> Jesus. This pose is a fever dream, Ryan. From Ryan Durbington, after all this year, I finally did my own take on Rosa John that wasn't just Rosalina, but tiny or something. Since there's probably something wrong with me, I doodled a bunch of other things from the stream, be it memorable moments or some tiny thing I found funny. And also, Kirby, because four days away! And you stream Superstar on Saturday. I'll always know. Anyways, when my take on Rosa John has, like, two things unique about it. Leggings, not painting, or not pantings, as it says. 
uh, with one leg having a Mario Superstar pattern and another with a kind of Kirby Star motif. More uh, just generic stars now that I look at it. And a toque shaped like a crown because I thought it'd be neat. As for the doodles, my favorite was the one on the bottom left. Rosa John playing definitely and totally bagpipes with two outward parts or something. I don't know what they're called. I'm not a musician. For no reason in particular. Yep. The butt says dis egg. Oh, not big egg. Dis egg with a picture of an egg on the other cheek. Also, I played like every mainline Kirby game back to back to back in anticipation of Forgotten Land and 30th anniversary. Jesus. You'll be okay, Ryan. It's only a couple days away. Thank you for the art. <laughs> Next up, more short hair Rosa. From 404 Sound, joining the short hair Rosa train, mentally t titled 2000's Flash Dress Up Game, Rosa Edition. Nice touches. They all look pretty good. Thank you, 404. And the last one I've got here is from Rhyme. <laughs> well, you don't take it. <laughs> if you figure out the secret first, you uh, get a cookie. What? What, you didn't take a bath with your swimsuit on? I mean, at the point that her shape changes, I think she needs it, just in case anything happens, but... Very nice, thank you, Rhyme. What is what is the secret, other than the fact that this is just the, the Klonoa squeaking, the wahoo? Mwenya! Over and over. I assume that's what it is. Although I see Mooch saying, oh no, so I'm not sure anymore. Oh, it's, oh no! No, Rhyme! It's in Morse code. <laughs> the squeaking is Morse code. What does it say? My guess would be oh, boobs. Oh god. Oh, or is it ah ha ha. The Mandark laugh. I don't know well, cuz rhyme says in chat Morse code. Straight up like rhyme straight up said Morse code. It, oh yeah, no I was right. It's boob. Yeah, Rhyme just says, it's boob. Uh, there you go. Of course she would know the Morse code for her own tits. Uh, thank you, Rhyme. And with that, folks, back to gaming. Once I find the gaming button, where's the gaming button? You're going back to gaming. I'm going back to playing with the stack of money I have on my desk. Why do you have a stack of money on your desk? Because the banks are evil. I mean, sure. I don't disagree <laughs> with you at all. I still feel the question is valid to ask, though. It is actually the, uh... The emergency fund, quote-unquote, that I keep in cash. Fair because if I, keep it, if I keep it separate from accounts and everything else, it will not be touched. Except physically, when I feel like playing with it. Ah, uh, yes, the feeling of feeling rich. <laughs> banks are safe. What? Oh, no, no, uh, banks are safe, but, like, you know, people distrust banks, and I don't blame them for it. That's a bunch of tens and twenties, so, yes, it does make me feel rich, even though I know it's only, like, 300 bucks. Like, <laughs> All right, which one is. No, I mean, I'm vibrating a lot on this one, so that's gotta be it. Roar! My name is Boons! You just dug up a heap of trouble. What it was with me? I can never get figure out these boos for the life of me. What do you mean? Just like, where they are? Just with like... Because you always had to use the goon for sensitivity, and I just couldn't tell for some reason. It just eluded me. I was like, that, so part, that part hasn't been too bad so far. Sometimes it feels like they're the same vibration strength, but it, it, apparently it's not. That's the only downside I've had. I like how the light made him dizzy and not, you know, spinning about 20 times. Eh. Ghost probably got a good inner ear balance. Do ghosts have ears? That's my point. I mean, all the boss ghosts do. All right, is there any John, I, I, I didn't need this existential list. crisis about ghost anatomy. Well, 
too bad. You got it now. All right, so we got everything on this floor now, right? So the only floor we don't have everything yes. on is we still can't do the thing on four. Uh, and we can't do everything in B2. And Correct. What was the other floor we couldn't get everything on? I believe I that was it. I think it was just this one right now because of the boo. Yeah, we can't yeah, get. Assume... It. We don't have everything in paranormal. Pro oh wait, wait, sorry. Yes, we do. Uh... Oh, that's mm -hmm. what. Oh, now I rem no, I just remember what floor ten is. Is that the Egyptian stage? You would be correct. All right, I've heard I not just... good things about this one. Really, I actually enjoyed it a lot. Thematically, it's cool. Specifically, I feel like I remember Emil not enjoying it. I might be misremembering that. Okay, there's there's kind of a stipulation that comes with Emil meal, meal not enjoying things. Well, as I, we've and, learned, and also <laughs> others have complained, but Emil was the first one okay. I remember pointing it out to me. Isn't this because Emil couldn't find the entrance to the pyramid? I, again, I don't remember, but that might be it. Okay, all right, yep, okay, neat. This is as per rules, stage. because as per the rules, it's an ancient Egyptian temple, so it is filled with booby traps. Boob, as the trap. Per the rules. Feel free to take some creative liberties, chat. What creative liberties are they taking? As Jomini says, hey, hey, booby traps. And I guess you technically also did the same, so. Some very dramatic music going on here. Very triumphant. Uh, yeah, I do, I do not remember the music being this dramatic. Walk like a Luigi. I'm dead Scared Luigi like a Luigi. <laughs> break that couch. I sadly did not break the couch. Yes. Is it wrong now that I know this game is old at this point, but I kind of wanted to, just to sit on furniture option. I, yeah, I somehow doubt they'll patch it in, but that would be funny. Just Luigi gets to relax. Wow. Just, just this once. There we go. Exhausting. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, they brought back the cleaning the dust mechanic? Ugh. <laughs> so, what, once you get into the next room, I'll say something. Drop it. Okay, I should have known. Oh, I hear a bagel. Mister, hey you. The hey, real booby trap is coming. Ah, the real booby trap is here, Mr. Bagel. Hey, bud. Meow. He has come to Hello. shut down the stream so he can get attention. How's he doing? Okay. Just finished a second can. Oh boy. Mister, why are you not eating so much? Because it's warm? 
Good boy, buddy. I don't think he will. But would he? What if we try tonight? Can we? Meow. He's like, yeah, and I'm the, the rebellious teenager. Oh. He's in his 40s. <laughs> yeah, he's in, I know he's in his 40s. This dude is like fucking... His sixth birthday is, is next month. He's For... fucked up his life. He's like that guy that won't move out. Won't move out. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Please, please don't bring that up. I have to move in back with my parents in August. Oh. Yeah, but you're not, you're not like a burden on your family, though. <laughs> Damn. Sure. Jesus, dude. Are you okay? No. <laughs> I think, I think we stepped on a landmine. I think we did. It's like, speaking of booby traps, I think we just stepped up to one ourselves. Are more bats gonna show up again, or am I safe to do this? You should be safe. Alright, you finally prove your worth. We got a snake! Uh -huh. I would like to think that the name of, of that type of gem is a Venom gem. Uh -oh. I can see that. Oh, oh this is a very big room. <laughs> and that's oh a god, I'm getting floor. flashbacks. Oh god. <laughs> so, uh, I remember getting bored once. I cleaned this entire room. <laughs> so, uh, you remember that thing I was gonna say? I was gonna make mention of when it, we went into the next room. Yep, you did the same. Same. Thing. Yes. Because nice. <laughs> I had to find the secrets. Gee, I gotta know. Laugh. They're buried. I wish for more money, Genie. There was way too many we people. Wish, oh, also, I wish, oh, I did wish for more money. Thank you. There's too many people in chat right now saying they did the exact same thing. <laughs> I think Emil I also get... did the same thing. I, feel like I was going to do it just out of habit. I like that the sand is going down from the impact, too. That's a nice touch. Oh, well, Bam, what's he going to do? Yeah, if you want to. Oh, man, he might act up and not let you sleep, but we'll see. Okay. He's already mad, but yeah. Can't keep doing this. Got my foot down. Okay. So, <sighs> will you turn the lights off on the place where where your shoes yep. are? Yeah, can do. Okay. Love you. Love you. Have a good night. Night, night Reese. He's gonna be very mad. Yeah, the desk is probably gonna get attacked. Ruh row. I'm guessing he wants back out. He wants back out, but he's, cause I'm gonna be up for another couple of hours yet. But, uh, He's been enjoying the very warm weather. Oh yeah, we're at we have unseasonably, or I guess seasonably warm weather might be a better way to put it. It is the it was like 11 today, 11 Celsius. I mean, yeah, it's been stupid warm here. It's been yesterday. I know it was 70 Fahrenheit. Very warm. Damn. We're still in the middle of a of a tornado watch. I was about to say, yeah, I should probably keep an eye out for that because it's supposed to drop tomorrow. Well, the door just got closed, so I don't know if that means the cat got locked in down here or if the cat got locked out <laughs> of here. It's one of the two. Regardless of which one happened, it is going to be torment. Someone is, one of the two of us is going to be tormented. It's not going to be Bagel. Exactly. Well, of course not. It is never Bagel. <laughs> He's, 
He's already being tormented. He's being kept inside of the house. Oh, he's living such a terrible life, having you know everything, all his whims and needs being taken care of. Absolutely worse. I know, I know right? Spoiled cats are the most hard done by. Yep, Bagel is a little too spoiled for his own good, which means bad things for us, basically. You know, I just realized how like unreasonably stupid like having this much sand in a hotel is, especially on like the tenth floor. I mean, this would definitely buckle the floor at this point. Like, it would like you would cause major issues structurally. And you not, and you not think the sand would not get everywhere we drag this literally all over the rest of the hotel i'm putting all this in the ghost in the ghost bin like i'm just gonna put the <laughs> vacuum in it's just gonna be dust everywhere where you know, is all the sand coming from anyway it's gonna like where do they the get it a little bit here yeah let's actually let's get rid of the rest of these vents I think I missed at least one. <sighs> and mine can't walk past that. The building is made of mahogany. Mahogany. <laughs> mahogany. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's a reference I don't get. Wow. Uh, DBZ Bridge. DBZ? Yeah, I was like, I almost said Team Force. I'm like, wait, no, that's the group. Oh shit, I don't even remember that joke then. That's like It is a very old one. Okay. That's like first five episodes, if even. No, that's oh, about that right. A, that's about a, right. Is that a joke with like the uh, It's King Yemma, yeah. Yes. <laughs> this desk is made of mahogany. Not oh. just any mahogany. <laughs> mahogany from Melchior 7, where the trees are 600 feet tall and breathe fire. Damn, you remember the entire thing. I've watched it too much. Also, it's, it's a very fine material. Very expensive. <laughs> very expensive, Douglas. It, it's Mommy. not even season one I remember. It's mostly like seasons two and three. See, I'm the opposite. I, remember, I think I've only seen like the first like 15 episodes of Even. It's a shame. It's all really good. I mean, I know that. Yeah. I mean, I've like the the cell fight. I also remember being fantastic because they they just had all these other characters come in to try to fight cell. <laughs> and the fist of the North Star one's like my favorite. Oh, I love you that man one. meat, or bug meat. <laughs> Are we talking percentage I here? I don't eat man meat. <laughs> Look, you obviously got off at the wrong bus stop. And war? Okay, but why though? Oh, how did you know I was deathly allergic to tickling? <laughs> You're already dead. <laughs> Watch! God, I wish they had continued that for North Star. That was so good. You're you gonna. Oh! Eat Christ! That. Myself? Did anyone ever tell you My that arm? you're already an asshole? No. No, I have not. <laughs> <laughs> well, may I? Go ahead. It'll be the last meal you ever <laughs> you'll ever have. No, you you are because you're already dead again. Again. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. Fucking love it. <laughs> I did it. I mean, there's the one with uh, one punch. Oh, wait, it, you wanted to do it Sunday? Oh, but there's a great discount at the supermarket. I got all these coupons. Oh, yeah, the fucking, just like the, the, the blue balls from that fight. Yeah. <laughs> Literally even calls it out. I feel like I've just been blue balled right now. <laughs> <laughs> or how about we talk with our mouths? Oh, you mean the chaos emeralds. What a what a fun bit that was just in general all those. 
And then was it the it Yu-Gi-Oh all... fight where there's like half these rules don't even exist anymore? <laughs> like that, or that card's not tournament legal or something like that. Yeah, more or less. What do you mean Monster Reborn isn't tournament legal? Since 2004. 2011. <laughs> also, we started with 8,000 life points, not four. The fuck you on about. You have a really deep voice for a 14 year old. <laughs> <laughs> do I have to make? Do I have to come back here with the sand back up? Do you I think. Yeah. Actually, there is something you can wait, wait. do. You can you actually push the sand. Oh, I was, about to say, I was wondering about that. I was so busy like doing this, I didn't think to actually do the opposite. This is probably just the coolest room for the simplest reason of just the sand physics. You may have gotten rid yeah, you're, of you're gonna have to push a, Yeah, you're going to have to push a bit of the sand to that point. I got too much power in this vacuum. There we go. What is the energy source of this vacuum? Ghost energy. Probably the Chaos Emeralds. Why does it say I can go behind, or like, behind this? I can't. All right, have we exhausted everything that we can do outside of here? No. I, I literally cannot answer that because I do not remember. There's so much sand. No, there's like one thing that I know he hasn't done yet. You mean other than this? Yes, besides that. The only thing I can think of is the snake, but I can't, like, I assume I can't do anything with him yet. Oh, no, you can. So I see, like, money there. Am I supposed to just connect the rest of his body again? Yes, I am. This wasn't a tools case. This was literally just being like, all right, it's broken. I'll worry about it later. <laughs> ah. And that is currently all I remember. Yeah. <laughs> all right, chat. We're cleaning the entire floor. No. No, we are not. <laughs> he says as he immediately starts doing that. Alright, is there anything so else I can we... do here other than the actual go into the pyramid? I actually do not remember. Uh uh as far, far as I'm aware, I think we we got it. I think. Do you want an, a definitive answer? Because I'll look it up. No oh, no, I'm good. Oh, there we go. X. Wait, that's the thing Emil couldn't do? I was about to say, this is this is Emil we're talking about. That was it? <laughs> I I don't know. I don't know what the pro what everyone's problem has been. I I don't know. We'll figure I, it out. I, I, we'll figure it out. When he gets to Luigi's Mansion 3, because we all know he's going to at some point. Yeah, he'll tell that story at some point. Did you find the boo ball in the room? I did, and I forget where it went. <laughs> it got, got sent buried under more sand. I mean, to be fair, so here's the thing, too. I At first, I was like, maybe X is not the answer because I, I walked up to it and there was no X prompt. It took a bit to get the prompt to show up. So oh, I, guess I, can, I guess I can see that because of that now. But I don't know, at the same time, I expected more, I guess? I don't know.
just destroying this person's property. How dare you? To be fair, it took you a bit to figure out pressing X on the TV in the studio. Everyone's got blind spots. But here's the thing, though. The TV, on purpose, gets you to change and run away from it. So that's why I did that. Because, like, it on purpose, when you activate it, it draws your attention away from it. And when I went over there, uh, at the time, I only saw the cord going up to the camera. So I thought it had turned on the camera, because what I could see in the TV that was next to it was what the camera was showing. So it didn't click together to me that they were the same picture. Because I had basically turned on the TV and ran away, completely forgetting it was on it. But you're right, we both have our own blind spots. He acted surprised as though that's not what he was expecting to see inside it. dead again. Chugga only just corrected how he pronounced DX for dicks. Chugga is a very... He did... Sorry, he did what now? You hear E, the signal cut out there all of a sudden. What's wrong? You fell down a sound pit? Ah, classic trap you'll find inside a pyramid. Luigi, you gotta find an escape route. And watch out for more traps. Goodbye. Okay, yeah, I thought the DX thing was on purpose. Cause like, he likes to stress X anytime it's in a title, so I just assumed that was the same. Wow. Platoon 2, please. What? Is that in? Is that in? Chugga didn't correct his pronunciation. He corrected the order. He said Octocopter D-I-X. Sorry, it's Deluxe Octocopter. Okay, so I guess this is just a Splatoon 2 playthrough. But that does kind of scream him just doing a bit. Let's see, we've got chains and statue. Well, let's spin first. Spin. Damn it. There we go. Thank you, it was going to bother me. The spider. Yes. Fighters deserve to die. Ta da! Except I got rid of all the sand, so fuck. Oh, thank you. Very courteous about giving you some sand. They're giving me all of it. But yeah, you didn't clean it out from upstairs, so they just gotta pour it back I down couldn't. here. I fell down and broke my spine. I'm dead, remember? It's all just a dream. Okay, how am I still. There we go. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, there's no fucking way I'm still not high enough. Oh yeah, traps. Guess what, Guiji? Have fun! You didn't even get shot anyway, somehow. Oh yeah, he's goo, it just goes right through him. Yeah. 
so many black little spiders. I love how he always says did it for climbing a ladder. He's so proud of climbing a damn ladder. This platforming hero. Man who can jump up literal building stories and he gets excited and accomplishes himself by climbing a ladder. He did. Oh, there we go. So there's a door overhead. Maybe you can get back to the service through there. Find a way to that door, Luigi. No. Give me all that money. Really? Is that really the only one I could have grabbed? That was the one you came in through. No, it's not. Oh, no, that's the, no, the other one. I'm stupid. Be stupid. Excuse me, I'm busy trying to break shit. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, it's a Matryoshka doll. God, I knew it was actually going to be. Oh, maybe this was not the right time to fight you. Don't worry, just bash him into the mummy. The mummy is immune. No, he's no, not. No, Luigi, no! Now's not the time to look at this. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Here goes that opening I had. Let me just get this in the position. Oh! Hi! Oh, yeah! I defeated the mummy's curse! Hooray! Hooray! All right, what else we got around here? For starters, ah, uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Why are you not jazzed about seeing it? <laughs> Hello, there we go. Falter up. Teddy. Bye, Falter up. Good boy. Thanks for breaking shit. Broke the cat statue. That's what dogs would do. Da, 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 da. You know, for a second I thought it was actually homing on me and got very concerned. Oh wow, it goes back up the ramp. That's actually very impressive. And I saw that Guiji pipe there, so we'll worry about that in a minute. Just does that now? Okay. It is homing! What? Uh, it looks like it's on a track. Definitely made me think it was homing for a second there based on that. Let's activate the other one. Let's make the Boo Rocks kiss. You look kiss. Oh, that is actually not what that was. Okay. Yeah. Oh, another mommy's curse. Damn it. Hey, you just you just stand like right here. 
Yeah, well, that's about right, right? Nice, it actually worked. <laughs> Murdered the lad, jeez. That's using them, uh, using them resources. All right, this puzzle. Hi, mister. Hi. I hear you I complaining. Hear him. Yeah. Hello. You want to go out that badly, don't you? Hi. Bagel, has there been a Luigi's Mansion stream you haven't jumped in on? Has there been a stream lately you haven't jumped in on? Hi, yeah. You want to go out that badly, don't you? Alright. This looks like a weight puzzle. Oh, because that's, that's exactly what it is. The Far. It's very precision. Very precise. There we go, now that I'm off of it. Yeah. Now have fun. Cool. Uh what is that? That is the third one. Yeah. I know. I'm gonna die. Again. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, you just have to keep going, huh? Alright. <laughs> Again. More. More weight. Not far enough? Too far. Didn't think that would be an option. Where's that bubble was? It's that rhino. I need something else there. Put one of the other pots in there. Put the lighter ones in there, though, because otherwise it's too much. No, maybe not. I might not have a choice. Wait, there's a pot in there already. Probably take that extra pot out. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I might have fucked it. Oh, I'm standing on it again. Time here. Ah, oh, god damn it, we fell on the it's on the edge there. Get back over there. Oh, for fuck's sake! We done yet? I love this camera angle. It's very helpful. That's not going up, is it? <laughs> Just don't jump. <laughs> that was not a joke. <laughs> I thought it was a joke. 
Why did you jump? Because I thought it was a joke! I literally thought he was joking! And, you and then just back to the what? what did they- Oh my god, that's so stupid! Oh, oh there's now there's a fight tonight. I literally thought he was joking. Don't count that as an actual fucking jet. That fuck off. I literally thought he was joking. That's why I did it. I'm more pissed I lost my actual damn bone from that. You can only tempt fate so many times before it bites you in the ass. Death isn't a joke, John. This is a Luigi's Mansion, a game of fighting ghosts! Death doesn't fucking matter! <laughs> I mean, we prefer us not to die. Like, for the ghosts, we can't exactly help them with that. I'm so mad about that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, how much is it to go buy a bone? Probably like a thousand. It's not like, it's not expensive. I thought for some reason you're gonna hold up to three bones, but I guess it's only you just You can, one. I've just only been holding one at a time on purpose. Because I don't want to spend too much money and not get the best ending. Fair enough. Oh, you'll be fine, honestly. If I remember, I think I had almost 100,000 by the time I finished. There's plenty of money. Hey, mister. Yeah, you gotta accept that you have to stay in. No, you have no choice. Then again, though, I also remember going back into several floors and getting more cash. Yeah? Intentionally. Uh, yeah? Yeah? What's, what's wrong? Well, now, yeah, now I'm talking to you, you don't want to look, you don't want to say anything anymore. Yeah? Wow. He's very upset. When isn't he? I mean, that's a good point. He's a very moody cat. I'm actually going to go back and buy that bone now in case something dumb like that happens again. Plus, we also have not seen uh, Blue Toad hanging out in the lab yet. Oh, there he is. In stock, five. One boo we haven't found, which is on floor four, and three gems we haven't found. One is here, and the two we other two ones we can't get yet. Let's drop everyone off too while we're here. At about four hundred tons of sand. <laughs> just the entire lab explodes <laughs> into just a pile of sand. <laughs> Luigi, what have you done? I've sucked up the beach. <laughs> <laughs> I brought the desert with me, Doc. Oh. <laughs> Luigi, look, I know I'm not, I won't take you on a vacation, but that doesn't mean you have to bring the vacation here. I 
It's like how they extend out of the ground perfectly straight. <laughs> T pose to assert dominance. Is there an unlimited amount of snakes, or is it just. I think. I guess I have to explain why there's so much health in this room. That would be easy. It would be too easy. I'm the face of CERN Doom again. I didn't realize this was going to turn into a James Bond villain. Oh boy. Alright, how do I stop you guys? I got my answer. Problem is, I don't find the sand system that consistent. Wow. Oh, that does work. Okay, never mind. Oh my god, fuck off, snakes. I'm not interested. I poisoned? I'm moving slow. Oh, never mind, I went away. There we go. Hi, buddy. Yes, I know. I know you're sad. He's, he's back again. He never left. He lied down. Is he thumping his tail? Uh, he does that sometimes, but right now he is... Uh, Right now, he's just in front of the stairwell trying to get me to go up with him to let him out. He's trying to behave. To a degree. To a degree. Behave to the best of that he can. The best he can. As much as he will get his way. Done. Yeah, I know. Where are you now, even? There you are. You're still, still over there. Ow, oh, ow, whoa. All right, let's just do a quick spin. I'm assuming that's not the case, though. They've all been more or less straightforward. Aren't you only missing one? I am only missing one, yeah. I'm only missing one, and I already have the crystal ghost on this stage, so it's just solve whatever puzzle is it is tied to. Reverb and echo being wrapped in bandages seems to add. <laughs> Does a lot for the vocal cords. Yeah. A lot of heavy lifting. Oh, fuck off. Really? Oh, they all got hit by the damn boulder. Damn. No, oh, that's convenient. It fucked. He's packing away. It's like, no, no, you stay away from me. <laughs> he knew. He knew what to expect, and he still didn't get away. Oh, but he led me right into the boulder. Ooh, clever. Ooh. Nice. Uh, 
Luigi. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, move. that almost got us in trouble. Yeah? That's interesting. Thanks for the update. What did he say? He said, <laughs> I see. Such a wise young scholar he is. He's very, very verbose. Wise. Very well spoken. I only, I only trust his opinion oh. for my economic decisions. Does <laughs> so that bagel short my stocks? Well, if you say so. Shoes. He's oh. huh? Time to That's once right, again the face near. <laughs> now where do, does the triangle go? That's right. Well, the square the hole. Tell what sh oh, I guess that's, yeah. that's right. In the square hole. And where does the arch go in? That's right. The square hole. Now this triangle, do you know where it goes? That's right, it also goes in the square hole. Please stop, you monster! <laughs> did you see the version of that video where someone did it correctly and she's also commenting on that one? Yes. I have not. Yeah, she's like, she screams like, yes, when they get it all right. <laughs> Finally been vindicated. <laughs> Now, which one does the semicircle go in? That's right, it goes in the square hole. It also goes in the square hole. Oh, that was convenient. The poison gas would not dissipate that quickly, I'm sorry. You're in a sealed tomb. It would be in like every room. Everyone is it's dead now. It's all your fault, this Luigi. This has been like the one floor where Luigi's been facing a lot of very certain death. Yeah, I feel like this is like such a major step up in difficulty compared to the rest. The ghosts aren't really a threat. They're comical at best. Oh. How do all these squares make a circle? I just... No, it's fine. It's fine. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me. It bothers me. It bothers me a lot. And that one's still green! Where the fuck was there a blue one? It has to be somewhere. It's in the other room. I didn't see any left in the other room. Thank you, K-Head. Go somewhere. There it is. And there's our last collectible. Got them Excellent. all. Excellent. <laughs> nice. Now we only have to worry about traversing this entire place again for the boo. Wow. Hopefully he's not uh. in that spot. I'm pretty sure he's almost always in that giant sand room. Because <laughs> why not? 
That's the most the annoying golden thing boys. Here, Oh, you're still alive. Shit, I thought you were dead. Okay, never mind. Now we're golden. Gotta make up for that thousand gold we had to spend. Exactly. How dare you make me actually spend money, video game? You made another pun be... tray. What? You're being banished again. I didn't even uh, notice, so. It's, uh, well, no, he hasn't. That's what I was half waiting for. Oh, I won't tell you when it's gonna happen. It's just gonna happen. It's just inevitability. <laughs> Damn it. Sand makes these kind of hard to fight. It's very sandy. be mean to the big red ones. I just want to give you a hug. Uh, I've been Ranger danger. Before. Bad touch. The purple ones also really want to give you a hug. Even worse touch. You're not free to leave. Okay. Or, you know, whenever the sand fills up the room. I was gonna say, you kind of running out of, out of room here. Aww. There's a lot of spiders. Mm, Black Widow ones in real life, I'd, I would be very concerned, I feel. Owie. Owie. Let's see, up, right, up. Ah. Oh boy! Ow. Oh. Ow. Hey! Ow. Okay, I call bullshit on that one. Yeah. Oh. That's interesting. At least it wasn't an instinct ass. How's it feel to be fed to the door gods? I mean, a little painful. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Feels to be the sacrifice for once. Still feel a little ripped off, but I mean, what are you gonna do, I guess? It's a me! Luigi. Hey Shamrock. Hmm. How do you rip off rip off a pharaoh? Don't you dare. You Egypt him. Wow. He's gone. <laughs> Thank you, whoever did that. You didn't do that? I didn't move him the second time. Oh. That's how my blood coal. Look, for that one, you, you have to blame Shamrock. 
<laughs> Popsky's just terror. He just told me, careful. Oh, so probably Popsky ejected me the second time. Giant sand lady. With snacks. Oh, this is going to be a very elaborate fight by the looks. Okay, so I can't just get rid of the sand off of her. Let's grab that, I guess. Or not. Though I've never 100% of this game, does the bottom floor of the pyramid become empty again and revisited? No, yeah, it, it empties out again. I mean, yeah, there's gems down there. If it didn't, that'd be kind of... That'd be kind of bullshit. Or eat the sand. You gotta deal with so much of it. Give her a taste for her own medicine. Oh god. Here comes a giant fist! <laughs> Here comes a punch. Here comes a fist bump. Oh, if you're just gonna let me do this, then sure. <laughs> I mean, the actual body doesn't seem to hurt me. It's just the snakes, and they're they're aiming a little too far. So, uh, <laughs> just having a great time here. How? What? How did okay. that miss? That's interesting. I am confused. I think it might have been too close. I, that, I guess, that's the only thing that makes sense at this point. I think she actually already got stunned and that's probably more likely. Okay, that time the body did hurt me. Okay, neat. I feel like there are better forms for it to take than just a giant head. I mean, you'd think. Okay, so why is it hurting me now, but it didn't earlier? Is it just because I made it too small earlier and that's why the snakes weren't getting me? Yeah, now it's, now it's hurting me. Why wasn't it hurting me before? Let's, let's call it a glitch. Uh, do we have to? I Again, feel like okay. we have to. I think at this point, probably, yeah. Uh... Yeah, like, I... Weird. <laughs> Fucking weird. <laughs> Out of that time, though. End our career. Take a nap. Yeah. You were keeping away from it earlier. I wasn't. <laughs> I seriously wasn't. Da, 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 da. Da, da. 
<laughs> the time that we were, weren't taking damage, I wasn't walking backwards. The time we were taking damage, I was. It's weird. Well, either way. Done and done. Uh, oops. I forgot which way to go for a second there. I think it had to be, like, the level of sand we were on. Maybe I was just, like, way lower because of it. Whoa. Hitbox yeah. <laughs> uh, positioning probably is yeah. what happened. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. Alright, so how many floors do we have left? Oh, yeah. 11, 12, 13, 14, and the roof. And I believe the roof is just the final boss fight. Yes. Wait. Is it? Actually, actually, it's basically um, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. I mean, I know the final boss fight's on the roof, so. Mario, I forget if it's just Mario, the roof, though. Mario, 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 Mario. Is the penthouse at the top? Okay. Mario. Ah, oh, right, the penthouse. Yeah, because I thought that was like the 15th floor, then that led you up to the roof. Oh, oh fuck. Oh, hey, hey. I even remember this now, too. Oh, boy. Ah, uh, I love the chat reactions. Oh, this floor, dot, dot, dot. Oh no, the worst floor. Oh, this one is so cool. I like this floor. I remember nothing of this floor. Have fun. Ah, I really like this floor. Those were all different messages from different people. Oh, yeah, I, I see all the, the mixed I think reactions. Just kinda, I think this kind of sums up the game in general. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going yeah, back I'll, to the I'll be honest. And then we're done for the night. I honestly for kind of just forgot this floor existed. I'm constantly getting re reminded. Like, I remember... Let's see. There's one floor I do remember. Oh, besides, like, obviously the final floor. Actually, trying to remember the other. Th uh... Shortcut. Ow! <laughs> they built a ladder for you. Oh, this room sucks. Oh, nice. Oh, I actually don't need to fight these guys. Never mind, I'm out. <laughs> Sudden realization you're halfway in a fight, like, oh, wait a minute, why am I wasting my time? Well, because I'm so used to being like, they're locked doors. I oh, hi. Well, well, if you want to continue the fight, then fucking sure, we'll do that. I was trying, we were trying to spare you. If you're asking so badly for me to beat you up, I guess I'll just oblige. Can I tell you about the interesting thing with those ghost names? Sure. Alright, this thing's starting to vibrate a little bit. Nope. Alright, how do we get back down? Which one was it we actually came through? The one next to it. The one that's closed and I can't open? Yeah, how do I get I back down, or can I even? I don't think you can. Okay. I don't think you can. I think it's the... we're not there. Yeah, then I guess. I think oh, that's... Yeah, it's vibrating more. It's got to be in here. 
Yep. I think that's the only part that you can't go back to, but then like, there was also nothing down there. There was no gems or anything. I don't know, because you we got them all. It? Nope. Uh, maybe. That was interesting. Uh... Oh, it's because what Luigi's is... here so the camera can't pan, so it's telling me not to do that. Oh. Well, that's not it. I'm surprised that you checked the jar, but it, it d didn't count as checking for the boo. It's very inconsistent, I've noticed. <laughs> I I wasn't inconsistent for me. There's been a bunch of jars I've checked that have not been correct. And, like, and nothing's happened. It's it's weird. Uh, yeah, it must be this one. Uh huh. So apparently those three ghost names are Nikki, Lindsay, and Ginny. NLG for next level games. Ah, that's clever. Who you bitch ass motherfucker? Where are you? You owe me my money. Where's my fitty? It's not you. It's not you. It's gotta be the one I just flung around. Check out your narrative. Where's my money? I'm gonna have <laughs> all these fucking broken at this rate. What the fuck? What the fuck's going on? Is it that one? What the fuck? All right, well that happened. Now I gotta go find him in a different room, I guess. Do you wanna know the, the theme for the next floor's gems, gem shape? It's probably playing cards. It's playing cards or one of the suits. It's not actually. Oh, magic hats? No. Dice, okay. Uh -oh. Hello. No. Pretty jiggly. Extremely jiggly, but which one is it? Oh, that's the most jiggle. I'm a noobu! Time to tip the scales in my favor. Sorry, Robin. Hate to disappoint you. Getting slammed. Time to bring the boom. That's gonna do it for tonight, folks. Let's get out of the pyramid. Don't care. Have fun. Enjoy your seance or whatever you're doing. Blood sacrifice. 
blood ritual time. Oh, well, you gotta gotta reset the murder trap. Oh, excuse me, coming through. Just try not to get squashed to death. Oh, oh, huh? I'm sorry I killed your your girlfriend. <laughs> Hopefully you're okay with it. Why? Ah, oh, I found the cleaning crew. I guess they're the sand groomers. Brooms! <laughs> I'm afraid of brooms. I Here. My God! My father was killed by one. Why are there so many? Bye. I'm out. <laughs> this isn't my floor. <laughs> hey, you, uh, hey. you want to come out of the elevator? Uh, all right, I'm out. Uh, I, no, I tried okay, everything bye. I can think of. I tried. Oh, hang on, no, maybe, did he change his mind? <laughs> Is he still thinking? No, oh, hang on, no. Uh, maybe. Uh, do I want to go to B1? Was it B1 or B2 I wanted to go to? How long does it take to press an elevator button, my dude? Come on. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> uh, B1. It was my room. <laughs> Mario. <laughs> Mario. <laughs> yeah. Mario. Once again, you have shown me some very interesting things tonight. It's my secret skill. Is it something you're proud of? No. It gets a bit annoying at times, to be honest, but it does keep things interesting. You'll be grateful for your gifts. Ah, I got some sand for you. Here you go, enjoy. I swear to God, Luigi, if you're just gonna dump more sand in my machine again. <laughs> All right. Go sand, don't worry. So the only gems we're missing is one on basement two, which apparently we still can't get. One on the fourth floor, which we still can't get. Oh wait, I remember what the one on the other floors is now. That's it, those are just two we're missing. So we got Twisted Sweets. And then... The last four floors with, with gems. Ghostwise, we've got Goob, Hammer, Oozer, oh, it spells ghost, that's that's what it is. Slinker, Trapper, Mini Goob, Mini Hammer, and whatever. So these guys spell G-H-O-S-T, uh, uh, yeah, ghost, and then this is gonna be G H O S T G H O S T G H O S. Oh, there's not enough room for all of it. All right, booze. We are missing basement two, fourth floor, which we can get when we go back to get those gems. Yeah, and then everything else we just haven't gotten access to yet. Steward, Chambria, Crawler, Chef Souffle, Amadeus Wolfgeist, King McFrights, Dr. Potter, Morty, Ugg, Clam, Ugg. and Serpsy. I don't know if that spells anything with that one. And none of the rare ghosts because that's multiplayer. I did it. I did it. Yeah. Yeah, guys, I captured Morty because people told me for 100% I needed to do it, so I did it. I'm sorry. It had to be done. It had to be done. He accepted his fate. Whoa, it spells Skadamox. I never noticed that before. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's wrap up. Ninji64, thank you for the sub. This egg goes to you, but I'm betting it's probably the rando. Indeed it is. What do we got? How about I give you a little egg? I think they've got to fix the volume on some of these. Every time I adjust them, they don't stay adjusted. Uh, 
What even was that one? I can't even tell because the names don't even match. How about I give you a little egg? Maybe it was egg, yeah? I don't know. Because th these, file, these file names are not the most helpful, as you can tell. I'm going to dig in the actual egg folder and see what, what that was. Uh, audio clips. Eggs. Egg, yeah. Which one is that one? Volume warning, just in case. You will give me an egg! Yeah. Nope, that's a different one. I don't know which one based on these names that was. <laughs> There's one called the best egg ever. Which one was that one? Let's see what this one is. How about I give you a little Oh. Egg. That was that one. <laughs> How about I give you a little <laughs> egg? Didn't expect that to be called the best egg ever. All right. You keep up with these names. These are the names people gave them. I didn't name them. So they see these are some very old eggs. And some classics. We're, ta we're talking like 2013 on some of these. Pre 2016. All right. Classics. Uh, let's wrap up for the evening then. Queen, she says, "Holy cow! I'm using my mom's big ass monitor as a TV for Twitch, and it is amazingly HD. Poggers, nice. Enjoy the big, the big, big screen." Uh, let's do some quick retweeting here. Cool, let's see if all these are in art block. Uh, looks like not all of them are, but most are. I got a couple on Twitter that actually did not have any uh, posts on the art block, on the Buru rather, so let me grab these quickly. Since it's a quiet, slow night tonight, I can actually take my time doing this. I don't know what it is. I think I've always just seen Mondays have the the slower art time. Yeah, I mean, Mondays are usually just, you know, it's, it's that kind of day. Yeah, it's, Mondays are usually just kind of a chill day anyway. Makes sense. Okay, I think I grabbed them all that I saw on Twitter. Let me see here. Yep, 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 yep. I don't think any of those made actual art earlier. Cool, all right, we're good. Let's do the Twitter ones first, then we'll hop over to actual art block, because actual art block is only a row, so it'll be nice and fast otherwise. Actually, hang on, let me, let me set this up in a way that we don't actually have to read the, tw the trending topics on Twitter. Uh, hopefully this all shows up correctly. Let's find out together, shall we? Close. <laughs> it doesn't show whose account they are. Great. Uh, shout out to Proton John putting Clem in the wall from Buzz. Buzz YCO. You can tell I'm no longer set up for, for the uh, Twitter time anymore. There's Clem's hand right there. It's perfect. From XC Priest. Well, I don't remember my Buru password. I don't go to stream as much as usual, and this is late since I'm a slow artist, but I want to say happy 15 years. Have a bagel boy. There's my boy right there. Very cute, Priest. Thank you. These are all retweeted, by the way, so if you follow me on Twitter, you should have already seen them. Oh, my phone's been going off. Don't worry. From Devens, it's been two years to the date since I watched my stream of uh, my stream of yours. I'm glad to be part of a wonderful community. I assume first, my first stream of yours. Glad to be part of a wonderful community. Oh, yeah, there you go. You fixed it right down there, Devens. Thank you. And the last one I saw on here was uh, from Roko Nindas, or Kitty Roko. Hi, Proton John. I did a quick bagel before the stream today. Hope he's feeling better after he got into that fight last week. Have a good day. He's doing good. Well, other than the fact he can't go out. He's still upset about that. All right, let's hop over to actual Twitter time. 
or god damn it, now you got me doing it. The actual art block. <laughs> uh, starting right here with this post from Roto Eve. Today I bring you the other bird alts of the Johniverse turkey, pigeon, and literal goose. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> literal goose always makes me laugh. Thank you, Roto, for all of these. If you play Metopia, access key up there will get you access to all the Johniverse me's that Roto Eve has made for the game. He got in a fight? Yeah, that was, um, was that was like two weeks ago now? He, uh, he got his ear pierced three times by another cat. I'm at roughly 90-ish, gotcha. Jesus, 90 of the Johniverse me's, Jesus. From Toko Sharan, John E.G. always seems to forget something or other. Turns out this time he forgot he can put a key in a keyhole. You know what? That's probably going to happen by the end of the game. I'm calling it now. Thanks, Toko. Next up, I see the Short Hair Brigade is in full force. From Rosie. Okay, but consider short pigtails on Rosa. Sorry, mild rant about hair since it's the topic. Bro, I love having long hair, but I hate washing it. It's actually awful, especially if you have thick hair like me. I usually have it short, but I decided to grow it out last year, and God, I didn't miss having to wash my hair for 30 minutes. I got it cut earlier this year, and an instant relief. I will be honest. Uh, I find long hair extremely attractive, but uh, I understand from, from having dated someone who had their hair down, like, past their butt, fucking takes forever to maintain. So I completely understand why people don't want to do that. Completely understand. Thank you, Rosie. My hair will never get to that length, ever. Dude, my hair, is, my hair can go down to my shoulder blades now, and that's way too fucking long for me. That just feels weird. Because, like, the, the... With the pandemic, I didn't cut my hair, basically. <laughs> and, uh... There was a point where I remember putting on a shirt and then being like, wait, what? what's going on? Why can't I bend my neck? Oh my god, I need to pull my hair out of my shirt. Oh no! What's Fuck. happening? <laughs> Fuck! Yeah, that's basically how it went. Yeah, no, it would take at least two years for it just to get down to my shoulders. First time? Yep, first time letting it get this long. I mean, I like I like the long hair to a, a point, but man, yeah, it's not healthy for my hair otherwise. Yeah, my hair, my, gro my hair, it grows out. It doesn't grow down. I hate it. <laughs> ah. From Angels in the Window, here is a kind of fast picture I did of Pawn. Pawn in an Egyptian dress. I haven't been well today with my mental state, so I've been just working on my family tree stuff tonight while watching, but when you got to an Egyptian level, I just felt I should do this. Uh... My mother found out when she will be doing her stem cell thing, and it's the end of April, meaning she'll be feeling really sick throughout my birthday month. Oh, no. Which brought back memories of my close family members who died around my birthday. Her father, my grandfather, died a day before my birthday, in fact. Oh, no. I know she'll pull through. She's strong and did this before. Just, yeah. Sorry for the downer. I just feel like I needed to let it out suddenly. Your streams have been helping me take my mind off of things and even got me to laugh a little tonight despite my mental state. Thank you for being amazing. No worries, angels. I'm sorry you've had to go through so much but hopefully things will start looking up for you. Here's hoping things go good for your mom. And thank you for the art. Next up, just chilling in a giant uh, ducky from 404 Sound. Was done for the night, and then Rosie drew the super cute pigtails idea, so. Also, can it be swimming weather again? The Midwest is fucking cold. Right now, see, I'm a, I, my favorite seasons are spring and fall. Fall, preferably, but like this is the the right temperature now, where like it's in between. This is perfect for me. But I completely get you wanting summer or swimming weather. I just, yeah. I let me let me have spring for a little bit longer. <laughs> we're only one day in the spring. Let me have it for a little bit longer. Then we can jump the summer. Two weeks, all I ask for. <laughs> That's all I usually get. Thank you, 404. And from Doodle Will. Oh, wow. I wonder what this booby trap will do to me. Oh. Uh, you know, sometimes you see a perfectly good prompt to make art, and you know you have to act on it. Too bad I also like going against the status quo. Enjoy the booby trap. You did it. You took the creative liberties that I asked for. At least it didn't give him tits, says Toko Sharon. I mean, they're A, shaped like him, and B, technically it did. <laughs> Thanks, Will. Oh my god. Refresh check, and we're done, so. Folks, thanks for hanging out tonight.
What's our raid message? Schedule for the week, by the way, while we're figuring out the raid message. Uh, Wednesday is actually a little up in the air again. It might be game clearing with Lucagen. We might be playing more Mist, but she might not be available. So I'm not sure if I want to continue Oddworld, take a break from Oddworld and do Power Trip, or if I want to just say fuck it and just spend the entire night playing Kirby's Dream Course against people. <laughs> I don't know. We've got options, but basically the best way to put it is uh, you'll probably more so find out Wednesday itself what we're doing. Also, John, I'm sorry, but I think your rain message is going to be don't jump. Oh, uh, yeah, I have a feeling. Stop that. I had a feeling. All right, let's see who's live. So John, may I request some carding? You can also do a Mario Kart open lobby because DLC tracks should be available in the rotation then. Um, I'm doing a Mario Kart stream with, with Laughing Boy on Thursday, so that's the only reason I probably wouldn't do that. Hey John, missed last week's Luigi's Dimension 3 stream. Not sure if somebody brought up the music in Floor 4 when the piano is playing in the background before encountering the boss, but it plays the main theme of Metroid Prime Federation Force in a Moonlight Sonata-like tone. I was not aware of that. That's a clever touch. Oh. Oh. I think the rule's been activated. Hang on. I gotta see now, because the title says what I'm looking for. Oh, and there's 90 minutes. Uh, the title tells me what I'm looking for, but I, not what I'm seeing on screen just yet. Oh, wait, that rule. Yeah, the Ninja Gaiden rule may have been activated. I'm just waiting to see, because I think, I think they're busy. They're showing, like, I think they just got raided, so they're actually showing, like, their, their clip reel. So this might actually be the perfect time to raid them, because uh, it says they're doing Ninja Gaiden One CC no items practice, and they're doing a partner push. So let's uh, let's go give Super Ninbo some love because of the Ninja Gaiden rule. I assume that rule is you always raid somebody who's played Ninja Gaiden. If I, if I see someone raiding Ninja Gaiden on my follow list, I immediately they're my immediate raid target choice. Oh, God, you was on Neo Geo. Interesting. I never had a Neo Geo. Uh, Curious. Kirashi Draconis, welcome in. We interrupt your stream to bring you a Proton John raid. Wait a second. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Proton John, welcome in. Dude, welcome in. Welcome back. Welcome in, Raiders. How y'all doing tonight? Welcome in, everyone who's joining us. Mega Nerd. He's getting Baba a big S old... I, I love the loop. So, we raided Nimbo before. I forget what they were playing before, but I love the, the retro aesthetic. They mentioned they do, uh, I think it's a Dr. Wily Wednesdays, where they play Mega Man games dressed as Dr. Wily. They seem pretty entertaining, so go give them some love, especially if they're playing some Ninja Gaiden, and uh, I'll see you guys on Wednesday for whatever we end up actually doing. Not everybody. Good night, everyone. Uh, if you don't go to sleep, I'll come and take your socks. Don't do that. Why, why do you want the socks? Just one sock. Only one. Just one. Just one so you have an, sock. Yeah, so you have an uneven amount. What if he doesn't notice it for a while? Oh, they'll know. They'll know. Trust How will you know they are underneath know. the covers? Well, it's their own fault for only owning two socks in the first place. If you're sleeping with socks on, you're you're doing something wrong already. What if you're cold? It's called more blankets. <laughs> what if you don't have any more blankets? <laughs> Go buy more. <laughs> what if we can't afford more blankets? Buy more blankets. Suffer. Wow. <laughs> Savage. Please buy blankets if you need them. Not everybody. Or socks. That too. <laughs>